flow with an attitude. Football like you've never seen it before. Hey, yo, get ready for the revolution. It will be televised. A new day has come, baby. It comes to no surprise. The strong will stand, the weak will fall. To their knees on the floor as we watch you fall. Uh, this is the XS. And now, in week two, it's a matchup of running backs who starred in their team's openers. The Las Vegas Outlaws' Rod Smart. <laughs> You go out and make big plays, and your opponent, they will intentionally hate you. He hates me, Rod Smart. There we go, midfield, breaks the tackle, still dancing. And now we know why they hate him. You know, you just got to go out there, do your thing, and be hated by some people. But, you know, as long as you got your fans, they will always love you. And former Heisman Trophy winner, Rashawn Salam of the Memphis Maniacs. Two undefeated teams duel in the second week. The Maniacs host the Outlaws. Please give a warm Memphis welcome to the Las Vegas Outlaws. continues tonight as a showdown in the Western Division as the Las Vegas Outlaws try to sedate the Memphis Maniacs. Hey Memphis, how you doing tonight? Are you ready for some XFL football? Does the weather worry you? Introduced to you, a Memphis native son. He may not be Elvis, but he is the king. WWF superstar Jerry the King Lawler! Hello, Memphis! You know what? I want it to rain tonight. I want to see these players with, with mud up their noses. I want to see them with mud in their mouths. But most of all, I want to see the cheerleaders in wet t-shirts. Yeah. Now let me just tell you, in the XFL, we've done away with all the boring stuff. We don't have one of those coin tosses. No, we have what you call a scramble for the ball. That's right, in the XFL, the players have to earn everything, including possession. 
placement on the ball. We're going to place the ball on the 50-yard line. And these two players are going to line up on a 30. And they are going to bust their butts down there. And the first man to gain possession, his team is going to have their choice of possession on the ball. And right now, we're going to introduce the representatives for the scramble, representing the Las Vegas Outlaws. Number 28, Jamal Williams. And representing the Memphis Maniacs. Number 20, Raphael Cooper. All right, guys, let's do it. All right, gentlemen, these are your instructions. You will line up on your respective hash marks. On my whistle, you will sprint to the football that's been placed on the 50-yard line. Whoever secures possession of that football will win the choice of options to start the game for your team. If there's a false start, we will restart. If there's a second false start, whoever created that false start will automatically be declared the loser. Put your, hel put your helmets on and let's get started. Las Vegas has won. It is cold and rainy here in Memphis. Ideal XFL weather. Nasty. Hi, everybody. Along with Brian Bosworth, I'm Chris Marlowe. Three undefeated teams left in the XFL. Orlando won last night, pushing their record to 2-0. The other two unbeaten are here tonight, Las Vegas and Memphis. Let's start with Memphis. The Maniacs got a jolt this week, a little transgression. They had some distractions. Uncle Sam took too much money out of their paychecks. What Absolutely. You, you know, when you want to see a Maniac go crazy, you should have taken a look at their face when they got their paychecks. Yes, they were pissed off. As a matter of fact, Uncle Scam did take too much out. It was a distraction. Uncle Kippy thought it was so much a distraction that they decided to go through a fine focus workout as opposed to their regular workout just walked through on Saturday. And meanwhile, the Outlaws had some travel problems. They got here late last night at 9 o'clock. They had dinner at 10, bed check at 11, and I'm shocked. I am shocked, Brian Bosworth, to find out that some of them broke curfew. I can't believe it myself. Ten of them, to be exact. Yes, they will be fine. No, it won't affect their start tonight. But, you know, the bitch of it is we drove all the way out to Tunica, Mississippi in the middle of the night to talk to one player, Rod Smart, a.k.a. he hate me. And guess what, Rod Smart? There was nowhere to be found, were you? I tell you what, guess what? We hate you. <laughs> Two backs of notoriety here tonight. One was a star back in 1994, Rashan Salam. Another became a star last week. He hate me. He hate me. Rod Smart, running back, WKU, West Kentucky University. And they hate me, baby. They hate me. In 1994, Rashan Salam rushed for 2,055 yards and won the Heisman Trophy. He's not impressed. Uh, he hated me. I, I never really heard of that before, so I'm not sure who the person is. There's no comparison between me and him, and, and they're going to see tomorrow. You know, I'd be surprised if he leaves with that name still on his back. You know, we're going to try to knock it off. And, uh, you know, everybody's talking about that this week. You know, he hated me. Hey, darn right. We hate you. And I know the guys I play with feel the same way, especially our defensive line. You know, we got a, we got some guys up front that are just madmen. I mean, they, they got pure hatred. You know, he hate me. We've got some hatred. All right, he hate me. You heard him. He hates you. He disrespect you. He's gonna knock your block off. That's what he think. He hate me. But he can't do nothing with me, baby. Your last name is Smart, you guys. A little stupid last night. You miss our interview, you blow off curfew. You're going to be fine for it now. Respond. Well, hey, we just had to play ball, baby. And nothing else don't count. They're chanting, they hate you. They hate you already. So Las Vegas wins the scramble. They elect to receive. Kicking off is Jack, uh, Jeff Hall. He is the former... Tennessee Volunteer wearing number seven. 
One of the great kickers in Southeastern Conference history, deep to receive Jason Kaiser and Jamel Williams. Williams is number 28. To the house. He wants to go to the house, Boz. Who doesn't on the opening kickoff? Everybody wants to hit the house. Just about set. Here at the Liberty Bowl. the 25 a bunch of maniacs in on the tackle Ryan Clements regular, regular, regular. is the starting quarterback for Las Vegas a 25 year old a former Miami star up front he has a solid offensive line David Diaz Infante is the anchor at center he's won two Super Bowl rings he got them with the Denver Broncos. The outside receivers are fast. Rod Smart, he hate me is the featured back. Here is he hate me, trying to get around the corner. He hate me's got some room. He hate me is knocked out of bounds. Nearing the 46 yard line. He hate me with a terrific opening run of 22 yards. What a great start for he hate me. I tell you what, that'll shut this crowd up early. He gets a seam, he just goes outside. He gets that side containment right there. Right. Rod Smart, 24 years old, grew up in Lakeland, Florida. Western Kentucky star. We'll call him He Hate Me tonight because that's what he wants to be called. First down. Clement, that's a backward pass caught by Jenkins. With the catch, short game. Great tackle by Rico Clark coming up. The Memphis defensive line, they play a 3-4. Thomas Fryer and Shante Carver. The linebackers are outstanding. Keep your eye on number 55, Paul Lacoste. He's a nut, okay, a la Brian Bosworth. The corners are Williams and Clark. The safeties are Peoples and Marshall. Loss of one yard on the play, second and 11. Draw a play. He hit me. And he hit me is wrapped up by number 90, Marvin Thomas. Marvin Thomas did a great job of skating down the line of scrimmage and unloading on He Hate Me. Good job. Good job, defense. Look at Paul Lacoste, he's got that, that Good job, defense. Face. 46, 46. Opening drive, third and 11. Clement, pressurized. Play him, there he goes. Flag is down. Clement, oh, as he marched. Clement through at the 33. But we've got a marker down, and this is going to come back. This is going to come back. Marshall and Sawyer leveling. Clement. We got holding on an Eric Bates. Took down Sante Carver. So the long run nullified. Wipes out a 21 yard game. Holding offense on a takedown. That's a 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay third down. Here we go. Here we go. Dual right gun, quick kick on the center. Okay. We got a quick kick here. Tell you what, they better be a right. they better be awake back there because this ball hits a 25 yard. This is a big time live ball. Out of the shotgun, Clement. It's a live ball after 25 yards, boss. You said it, but I repeat it. You gotta feel the ball. And the first Let's maniac go. carry. That is Kevin Peoples. Kevin Peoples securing the ball. Mom, I love you. That's a cute little play early on, and I'll tell you what I like. I like Jim Kreiner's choice here. Go ahead and play something early. It's a great job there. Good job. Kevin Peoples did a good job of filling the ball and getting all he could coming back. Kippy Brown 
his first head coaching job. The Memphis Maniacs with a record of 1-0. Marcus Crandall, first pass tipped at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Marcus Crandall is a 26-year-old, 5'11", 204, holds all of East Carolina's passing records. His offensive line is good. Keep your eye on Bernard Williams at the left tackle position. He's 6'9", 250, boss. Kind of skinny. The featured back okay. is Rashawn Salami, oh, rushed for over 150 uh, yards last eight. week. Thomas side. Prentice Hobbs, all three good. They're going to try to get to the outside on him. Second and ten. Straight up the middle. This Las Vegas defense is tough to run on. Tell you what, that's big time inside for Kirk Cavale. Dolphin, Dolphin. Dolphin, Dolphin. For an old man, he's still got a fire to burn blue inside that heart, I tell you what. Defensively for Las Vegas. Perhaps the best front seven in the league. Edwards, Simpson, Rubio, Kinney. The front four. Govea, 14-year veteran. He has two Super Bowl rings. The corners, Blackwell and Scott Sanders and Kaiser, the safety. Third and nine. Stunt. Crandall with time. Can't find anybody. Unloads incomplete. And he got unloaded on two by Antonio Edwards, came in and cleaned his IQ on that one. Antonio played okay, huge okay. last week. He tipped the ball on first down. Antonio comes off the backside. He just does not quit on this play. Marcus is so dangerous. You got to watch him both as a runner and a passer. You got to stay in his grill all day long. Antonio Edwards did a great job there. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Hunter is on Jeff Hall. So the Maniacs have to kick. No fair catch. It's a live ball. You got to field it. It's Jason Kaiser. Oh, and they unload. The Maniacs. Let the asylum out, baby. Oh, Maniacs. Tyrone Bell putting a left You got to teach the win. He can't teach to beat me. Turn his head off. Beat Mac got some smack there. Find your hat, be back. Find the hat. Each team has had a possession. Defense Dude, is holding. On, You're watching the, the XFL on UPN. Let's go. You're watching the XFL on UPN. Extreme training. It's football for real. A new brand of the game where winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. Get a fresh start in 2001 with the UPN 47 XFL Subway Getaway. UPN 47 and Subway restaurants are giving away two tickets to the Orlando Rage and Chicago Enforcers game on April 7th in Chicago. Grand prizes include airfare and accommodations. Just pick up an entry form at any participating Subway restaurant or mail in a postcard to the UPN 47 XFL Subway Getaway. Eat fresh and gear up for the XFL. Real football. I'm not just an XFL cheerleader. I'm a businesswoman. I handle multi-million dollars accounts. I crunch numbers all day. People count on me. And when that clock hits five o'clock, I'm out of here. I'm at the gym pumping iron, doing my karate. I'm letting out my aggression. And ladies and gentlemen, that's an XFL cheerleader. There she is. I'd like to see her take on Dara Torres in a Taibo Kung Fu cage match. Wouldn't you, Bob? As long as there's some mud, some oil involved, I'm all for that. Oh, yeah. So Las Vegas has the ball. Their second possession. Ryan Clement is the quarterback, regaining his arm strength after a year off. He worked at Reebok last year, and here comes He Hate Me, and He Hate Me is snubbed after a two-yard game. He ain't going anywhere. He ain't going anywhere, bro. Let's go, Tony. There is a 41 Toby man change. Ready. I tell you what, he's freaking sure to fly at fireball. I'll tell you what, I talked to him earlier. You talk about a guy who doesn't have any nuts on his bolts from one nutless guy to another. I feel you, Paul. I feel you, baby. Come on, D. Come on, D. It's a second and eight. Ohio! Clement changing the play. Ohio looks like a busted play. There it goes. You can't swap it. Playing like 
like a maniac. That's it, baby. Way to go, Holmes. Clemmer does a great job of just finding Chris to get out, but Paul gets off the block. Comes up inside and just crushes it. Does a great job of staying alive and not making Paul. Make a tackle there, Paul. Lacoste goes off. He hates me, stays in. Third and three. Hate me. Got the first down. Tackle by Shante Carver. Gotta get this. Get this, get this. Hate me got an ear hole. You know, one of the keys to the offensive success today for Vegas is they got to shut this crowd up early. They got to score early. They got to take some chances. They got to get Rod out of the passing game somehow quickly. And Ryan Clement can't make mistakes with the ball. You saw the no nonsense coach, Jim Kreiner, on the sideline. The second first down. And once again, it's a bootleg. Clement, he's going for the sidelines. Looks like, like was, well, looks like it was a broken play. Patrick Sapp did a good job of staying in containment, but I don't think Rod Smart got the play. He changed it to line of scrimmage. It's kind of loud down there. I don't think Rod Smart could, uh, hey. could hear it. Maybe, you like you said, me? he got ear hold. Oh, you're right. <laughs> he called the wrong play, boss. <laughs> Call 16, maybe he meant 15. I just said you got to... <laughs> Not on defense. Clement. He hate me. And hate me gets about six or seven. He is running well. I tell you what, I like the way he's running. He's going inside. He's taking control of his football game early on. You know what? Another thing I like about Rod Smart is he had the balls to go out there, put something on his back. Whether he's a fool to some, he's a hero to others. But that's what that tap is all about. You got to show who you are inside. All right. If you listen closely, you heard the play coming in. Trips. Sounds like a passing play, Boz. Let's see. Tuesday. Tuesday. Third and five. No score. First quarter. Hot. Hot. It is a passing play. Clement. It's a free passing play. We got a flag down. down. That. Pass intended for Todd hey. Floyd. Mark her down. Came off early a little bit over there on that side. Prior to the snap, false start, offense number 86. Five yard penalty. It's still third down. Ricky Brady, the former Oklahoma star, boss, another yes, yes. Oklahoma guy that doesn't know the snap count. You know what? We only had to do was count count to one or two. I think there was three on that one. Yeah, one thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. <laughs> the big third down here. Mike 46. They gotta play field position here. They gotta be smart with the ball. Clement. Pressure throws on the money. Pass caught Todd Floyd. There goes Floyd. Todd Floyd, big game. Kevin Peoples making the tackle. 38 yard gallop for Floyd. Kevin Peoples had no help inside on that. Todd Floyd ran inside. The middle of the field was wide open. Todd Floyd coming up with a little earth on his head. Right. Ryan Clemens stands back there, takes the shot. Floyd makes the catch. You got to make a tackle like that. That's a raggly ass, raggly ass job of coverage there. Todd by Tyrone Floyd. Bell. He's limping a bit. He's been known as a possession receiver. I talked to him at dinner last night. He's woozy. He wants to be known as a speed guy, a great all round receiver. He showed his speed on that when he got separation quick with Tyrone Bell. Timeout has been called. We're coming back. 7.22 to play first quarter. Maniacs, nothing. Outlaws, nothing. XFL on UPN is brought to you by Smooth Bush Beer and Easy Drinking Bush Light. By Burger King, got the urge. By Pennzoil Synthetic, don't hold back. And by the United States Army, an army of one. Todd, you picked up a big first down there. We're coming off the field. Didn't think you were going to make it. I'll always make it. Had the wind knocked out of me a little bit, but I'll be back. You see the size of the strawberry on the side of that guy's nugget? King, 69 gap on one. It's the seventh play of the drive for Las Vegas. Clement is two for two for 35 yards. First and 10. No score. First quarter. Clement hand the ball to EAB. He's going backwards. They love him. They're trying to track him down. He hate me. Trying to get to the corner, and he's offended. They love him for that. That's about a 15-yard loss right there. John Williams. Involved 
in the play. Mr. Christian. Shante Carver, you saw the Chaka on the back of his jersey. You're allowed to have a nickname in the free expression XFL. You know what? If you don't make a statement, nobody will ever hear you. Rock Smart just got, he got caught up in a situation. He's a no win, no lose right there. He lost on that one. Richard Hogan also, also applying Black some pressure. Black 324 Ohio! Black 324 Ohio! Hot. Second and a mile blitz coming. Clement. And not everybody's on the same page hey, for the Ohio play. Here. Come here. You got to know, man. That's going to be a three-step drop. Tiger, okay? I want to go Tiger. I want to go deuce right. 25 Reebok clear. Here we go. Deuce right. 25 Reebok clear on two. Ready? Right. Oh, that last play, right. Greg Betch. Didn't right. get the... Tuesday, get, didn't Tuesday. get the... Set. Didn't Red get the blitz on that. He's got a... Brother 80. Hot. He's got to figure it out, Buzz. I'll help you. I want to watch him play. Here goes Clement. Third and a mile. He's, He's got to He throws it up for grabs. Incomplete. No. He was level by Marvin Thomas, the kid out of Alabama. You like that all the time? Not even close. You all like this all day? All day. Talking some smack, baby. You got to get in the guy's grill. How much does that affect you, or how much of that did you do when you were a player, Boz? Hey, are you serious, man? I was always in somebody's cranial okay. cavity. As a defensive player, you got to be in their I head. Got 22. A 42-yard field goal attempt. Paul hey. McCallan has made hey. two of two so far. Set. Clement is the holder. Oh, that was ugly. It's on the way. And it's good, but, but we've got to mark it down. In. Wow. That, I, I believe... Well, let's see. David Diaz and Fonte with the snap. And now back in a five. Number 78 did not report. Number 78 did not report. Yeah, that's a bonehead play right there. That cost him three points. Let's see if that guy's from Oklahoma too, Boz. Uh, Number 78. He might have played volleyball, but he ain't from Oklahoma. <laughs> to me. You did not report to me. Someone said that. Uh, you know where he's from? He's from Canada. That's Antonio Belli. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You get a chance. Adriano Belli. That's right. Okay. Are you, are you eligible? You know what it is? He speaks French and he speaks Italian. Maybe he did, the referee doesn't know how to understand either one of those languages. Tell him, tell him right now. Tell him right now. Kreiner, the last six tell years. Tell him, tell him. Head coach in NFL Europe, Scottish Claymores. He barely made that last one. He only cleared the ball by a couple of yards with the high snap. Now it's 47. Let's see if he can clear it from here. McCallum. Set. Works it hard. Got a lot more leg in that one. On the way. Good. Paul McCallum, his longest field goal of the year. Clutch kick. First quarter, 5.39 to play. The Outlaws strike first and lead it. Three, zip. In the Free Expression League, the XFL, you can have your nickname on the back of your jersey. They're all over the place. Well, one player, Roosevelt Potts, had a nickname last week. This week, he doesn't. This is why. Yeah, I wore, you know, my nickname last week. Uh, you know, I got a phone call from my wife. I called her, and she was like, yeah, uh, I heard that, you, you know, that y'all been putting different things on your back, nicknames on your back. Uh, what you put on yours? I was like, I put Skip P on there. And my, I mean, she just totally went off and said, I want you to take that off your jersey. You need to put pots on there. So a lot of stuff goes on when you're being married and your wife tells you to do something. You better do it right. What? Well, I guess we know who's wearing a skirt in that family and who's wearing the trousers, baby. I tell you what, I have a compromise. Why doesn't he just put pots and pans on the back of his jersey? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, uh, you know what, Mrs. Potts? Serve both I masters. Love you. you're, 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 a, you're a wonderful wife, I'm sure you are, but you got to let your man do his thing on the football field. Watch for the onside kick. 3-0 Las Vegas. Now they dip out of it. McCallum set to kick deep. And it's a low liner wobbling like a dirt clod. Taking it to 15. One of the up people, and out to the 35-yard line. It was Bo Morgan. So Morgan, the nice return for the Maniacs.
Boy, you can certainly appreciate what it feels like to be a football player on a football field. You know what these guys are out there. Whether you believe it or not, they're risking their, their life, their, vi their bones, everything they got out there just to win some money. Play for pride. The Maniacs quarterback is Marcus Crandall. Memphis only with one yard so far. He's looking deep. He unloads. He's got his back. One yard of offense before this play. They got 53 now. Kevin Prentice just outruns coverage there. Corey Blackwell can't cover him. Great job of delivering the ball. Got to pay a price for that one, baby. It's like a six flag fly. Rashad Salam is the running back. First down. Maniacs in business. Salam. And Salam makes his way to the 10. Tackled by the Wiley veteran, Kurt Govea, 36 years old, two Super Bowl rings, a lot of work with the Washington Redskins, Boz. Dude, he's seen it all, and he's a, he's a, he's a consummate coach out there on the football field for these younger players. That's why he's so valuable for the Las Vegas Outlaws to be out there. Interestingly, he's older than six of the Outlaw coaches at 36. So as a young staff, an old middle linebacker. Coach on the field. Blue 19, hot! Crandall. On second and eight, incomplete pass intended for Daryl Hobbs, the former Raider, covering on the play, Corey Blackwell. Dolphin, Dolphin. Folks, that's Alvin Harper, the former hey, Dallas Cowboy. He's Mike. Two Go, Super Bowl right. rings. Dolphin right switch. Wide return. Scat right, 835 trail on one. Ready? Gun, gun, gun. Would they throw the ball to Harper right away, boss? Hey, I'll tell you what, as, as tall as he is, and as much experience in the NFL as he's got, I wouldn't see a, a fade pattern there as, out of the question. Third day, he's looking for Harper. Oh, he's got some room to run. He can run. Oh, and he is thrilled. on him, Kurt Cavea. Just cleaned his IQ, baby. Chris Payne also there. Oh, oh. Govea. He was hoping he could do it to the former Dallas Cowboy, but he got a good lick on oh, Crandall. Watch this. Not, no, not watch. Listen to this. Oh, man. He just came and spawned his onion juice. Jeff Hall. Set to attempt a 23 yard. Should be an easy one. This year, courtesy of Jeff Hall. So the Maniacs, on the strength of the big play, tie it up at three. Interestingly, the Maniacs name and logo is under fire for some groups here in Memphis. The National Mental Health Association says the name and logo is demeaning to the 54 million Americans affected by mental illness. Also, the Tennessee <laughs> Mental Health Planning Council has complained that the axe spelling at the end associates the name with axe murderers. I wonder if I'm one of those 54 million. <laughs> no, you're one of the axe murderers. <laughs> Steve Earhart, general manager of the Memphis Maniacs. You know, there's been a lot of controversy about your team's name. What are your thoughts about it? Well, right out of the dictionary, a maniac is a person who has unbridled enthusiasm. We've got 30,000 people here tonight that are enthusiastic about the Maniacs. We're glad they're here. Any chance of changing the name down the road? Oh, absolutely not. They love our team, and quite frankly, we respect the position they take, but the definition of good mental health is having a sense of humor. So we got a sense of humor here in Memphis. Hey, you gotta laugh at life sometimes. You can't take it so seriously. We're talking about a game. You look at the Redskins, the Seminoles, you got the Sooners. Hey, the Sooners were a bunch of land stealers. What are you gonna tell me? We're a bunch of thieves? Hey, we're proud. We won a national championship this year. I'll tell you what, boss. They could have named them the Psychos, then you would not have been allowed to broadcast the game. <laughs> you you would have had second thoughts, wouldn't you? Hey, I took my medication before this broadcast started. 3-3 here in the first quarter. Glad you're with us. 
XFL in prime time. Call kickoff. He's pumped up. He hits it deep. It's Jamel Williams. And he is going nowhere. All right, our Bush Beer rules of the game. Let's examine one, Boz. Forward motion, only one player can be in motion before the snap. Players can't go in forward motion until they're outside the box, outside the down line. Outside the tackle. You That's like right. that rule? I think it's a great okay. rule. It makes the defense play a little bit more honest. I got to pay attention. There's Brett Besh. He's out of LSU. He lines up. Red 80. Very wide. Three wide. Hot. Hot. Vegas on first down. Clement play action. He's looking deep. Throws a hover incomplete. That was close. That was close to pass interference on Mike Fury. But the quarterback just got blocked in the backfield. You know what? But he's going to get up. Oh, he's mad. He's, he's, look, he's going for a cheap oh, He just stopped. It's separated. I'm separated. Said he separated his shoulder. So he was irate at one of the maniacs. It might have been Shante Carver, Shaka Zulu. That's a big, big loss right there. Oh. Oh. You can hear that thing separate. Back to live action, he hit me bottled up. Kevin Peoples was there. You know what, that's a late hit. And I'm off the defense is hitting the quarterback. That was a late hit. He knew it was a late hit. Shante Carver picked him up and drove him into the ground. I think that's horse crap. So Clement out. The number one quarterback. Chuck Clements, who was the starting quarterback, is still out. 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22. One, 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 one. Third and 13. Vegas with its backup quarterback. Trouble. Oh, and a good hit there. I tell you, the Maniac defense playing they need some inspired. Medication. That was Richard Hogan's coming across. One of Hogan's heroes. You know what? Prior to the snap, delay of game, offense number 10. I don't, I don't think they like getting slapped early. Third down. You said earlier, did he separate your shoulder? Yeah, it's separated. I knew it right when it happened. Going into the locker room for x rays? Yeah, going in. Done for the day, I presume. Ah, uh, you never know. You know what? They got needles in there. You can certainly find out some magic in that prescription. Las Vegas. Big game. Has four penalties. It's third and 18. quarterback boss and now he's working on number two now, that was a good hit I didn't I didn't mind that hit whatsoever Dante comes off the corner here and he comes up with one nasty rush he's been in the grill all day long and he feels it feels the force Shante Carver is the most valuable player in this game so far for the maniacs Kevin Prentice is deep Vegas will punt the kicker and the punter is the same guy folks you have one guy do both. McCallum's pick is low. Prentice with room. And he is real good. Special teams coverage by the Outlaws getting down there very quick. Jonathan Jackson. Hey, are you playing like a maniac tonight or what? Hey, that's our, that's our nickname and that's how we're going to play. With a lot of enthusiasm. Did you get this crowd behind us? The choke it up, crowd! Get it up, crowd! One way to get a little closer to that $2,500 payday. We ran a game. We ran a game on it. Yeah. Ryan Clement in the locker room. And 
as you might imagine, very discouraged. He played great Jody. last week. Led his team to a 19 to nothing win over New York. And Tell you what, the emotion, the emotion that's going through him right now, Ran you just can't over. imagine. The guy's about ready to break down. 3-3 here Ran in the first up. quarter. Maniacs in blue. They hand the ball to Rashan Salam, the former Heisman Trophy winner. Running hard. Salam, just 26 years old. Out of San Diego, California, the former Colorado Buff. They got a great, great field Eagle, position Eagle, change Eagle, here with Eagle, ball Eagle. possession here. And Rashan Salam can feel the power and this, this no, momentum no, got, changing got, for the Maniacs here. Let's go. All right, flat left. Hold on, ready? An all access pass into the huddle. Second down and four. Clock running, one more play to go. First quarter. Rashan Salam. He is met and drives forward. Oh, he was hit by Brandon Sanders and then lowered his head. Be Mac. We are coming back. Things heating up here at the Liberty Bowl. 3 3. Maniacs on Outlaws battling. You're watching the XFL on UPN. Shaking and raking here at the Liberty Bowl, the XFL cheerleaders. You know, some, some people say Brandon Sanders plays a little bit like a criminal, but I tell you what, Brandon Sanders says his head coach at high school changed his life. As a kid growing up in San Diego, he started walking on the man. wrong side of the I road. Think they got us on the his road. coach, John Singer, sat him down and emphatically told him, football is the way you're going to get out of here. Austin, Austin, Brandon dedicated eight, four, his life to the four, game. Four. Now he owns his own record company and with his Austin, brother, four, and he four, wants four, to coach. Four, that tells you right four, there that he's gone back, full back, circle. Back, Good for him. All right, the Maniacs with the ball. Bo Morgan, the former Air Force star, has checked in at quarterback. Here comes the option. They hand it Ball's to the down. die play. Ball's they down. lost the football. Too cute. The line there ball. go the Elmas. And there they go. Streaking down the sideline. It's Jason Kaiser. Kaiser Permanente into the end zone. Oh, my God. This crowd is, is really yeah. sedated. Game yeah. And we've got a fight. We've got a fight back at the 25. Hey, it don't make no difference what's happening at the 25, what's happening down in the end zone. There are no markers on the field. So the Maniacs trying to utilize the option, fumble the football, and Kaiser brings it all the way back, 80 yards. Oh, yeah. They laid the ball. That's the problem with the triple option. We saw it a lot when I played Oklahoma. The ball gets on the ground a lot. You got to be ready to get back on top of it. No, no. It's a bad handoff. Little transaction problem right there in the middle. Number Nobody six, touches him. He gets up. It's Number a free ball all the way down. Eligible. Jason Kaiser just running an 80-yard dash. Kelvin Kinney giving the assist. So Morgan's first play tonight is forgettable. Now, you can't kick an extra point. You have to run or pass it in. Colley got some time. Now he doesn't have so much time. He throws, and it's incomplete. Incomplete. Chakuma thought he had it. Chakuma, the former Arkansas star, and Cauley wanted that one bad. That guy was underneath you, man. I was going to try to throw it back to you. Threw it a little low, boss. You know what? He, he did a good job buying some time. He bought some time. He threw the ball. It was catchable ball. He's got to come down with it. One of the things that a lot of these players have said about this XFL ball, it's got that paint on it. And when it gets wet, which it is down there on the turf, it might Please get a little set slippery. The game clock to 14 3 14-03. Bo Morgan, the GOAT at the moment. The fumble leading to a touchdown. It's 9-3 Las Vegas, and there is Jason Kaiser out of Sedalia, Colorado. Played at a little college called Culver Stockton College. I think that's probably the biggest play that he's had as a player, college or pro. He's got to feel wonderful inside. Bubbly like Coach, the... Coach Brown, what happened on that call? Well, we didn't get the mesh, and uh, that's probably my fault. I shouldn't have uh, made the call, but we're, we're okay. We're okay. Will you try it again? Sure. All right, Kippy Brown, 21 seasons, 12 in the collegiate ranks, 9 in the NFL, his first head coaching job. And when you make 
the big decision, you get the reward buzz, but if it fouls up, you get the blame. That's right. Hey, man, you're the head coach. So the Maniacs worried about their paychecks this week, and now they're worried about their paycheck tonight because they are not playing well. Their defense is, but one costly mistake. So now Vegas will kick off Paul McCallum. Vegas has done a great job of mixing this thing up. It's been so unpredictable. I don't think Maniacs know exactly what they're going to get hit with next. Little pooch kick. That's a live ball. Anybody can field it. Bo Morgan has it. And Morgan runs out of bounds. Morgan, perhaps the most versatile player in the XFL. He plays four positions well, boss. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver, safety. He also is on all special teams. So a tough break for him moments ago. You broke a nice play up, you went 80 yards for a touchdown. I just got fortunate, the ball bounced over my hands and put it in the end zone. Cool. Just came from the locker room, got an update on Ryan Clement, the quarterback. Hey, bad 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 Hold on, fella. Bad, bad sprain will not, excuse me, separation will not return today. He is done. All right, up to the Maniacs hey, offense. Hey, hey, hey. And the ball to Rashan Salam. Salam wins the tackle. He's at the 40, and he's dragged down. At the 45, maybe a little in front of that, 11 yards, Jamel Williams. No substitution for strength inside there. Rashawn Salam comes up inside. I tell you what, this guy's on a man, a uh, man on a mission to rule the XFL in rushing this year. Salam rushed for a thousand yards as an NFL rookie. Then he had trouble with fumbleitis, and he got injured. Brandon Sander called, it, called him a fumble holic. Trying to get him to, to fall off the wagon here tonight. They think they've cured that. Blitz coming. Salam trying to bounce outside. That is the voice of Chaka Zulu. Shante Carver on the defensive line. He's Mike. Cavea came in and really made that play in the backfield, strung it out. Let's Rashad go. Salam, 894 6 flat. for 22. Oh, no, They've done a pretty good job containing him so far, boss. Right. It's a long game. you got to keep, keep right, focused on him the whole game because he can break out wide open in one play. Big light. Big Big night. Night. Second and 11. Crandall dumps it off incomplete. So now that's not one of his best attributes is catching the ball out of the backfield. They said last year it was between Amon Green and Rashan Salam in the Green Bay Packer training camp. They said the reason they kept Amon Green, who went on to have a great year, he could catch the ball. Salam not that gifted with the hands. Not like Boz, who could catch just about anything. I can catch any, I can yeah. move a mountain, and I can catch the snow. A cold, a virus, what else did you catch at Oklahoma, baby? Let's go. I caught hustle the up, hustle award up. twice. Okay. Okay. 48. Sam Green 80. Middle. Maniacs moving. Pass, green or at least 80. attempting to move. Pass, Randall out of the gun. Pass, pass, pass. Get the Randall line. comes off. Throws. Pass caught. Let's see where he caught it. Short, short of the first down. No. Look at the mark. The... That guy stay in. It's going to be short buzz. Got to get to the marker. Corey Blackwell did a great job of playing off his man and then had warp speed to come back and make the play short of the first down. A Big fourth decision down. here. What do you do, Buzz? You, you got to go. Now nah, you know what? I don't think it's too early in the game. You're only down by six. You're playing, you know what, but the number one quarterback's out of the game. They're going to have to call a timeout here. I think we're a little confused. So Kippy Brown, Kippy Brown with a big decision. It's there first. He's got fourth and one. One and a half. Yeah. Right, cool. she, Hey. Chris. All right, we'll take a quick break. We're coming back. Maniacs with a big decision when we return. Man, they're always trying to impress me. Hey, Jen! They think big muscles are all I care about. Hey, China! The truth is, I like brains and brawn. Hey, China! That's why I love the man who takes Stacker 2, the world's strongest fat burner. It's a safe, smart way to burn fat and get an extra boost of energy. Stacker 2, the world's strongest fat burner.
The XFL on UPN is brought to you by Pep Boys. Cars like us, people love us. By Stacker 2, the world's strongest fat burner. And by 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. Fans wanted Kippy Brown to go for it on fourth and one. This Kippy right says decision. no. Right decision. Play field position here. It's too early in the game to take chances. Kaiser at the 10. Tries to reverse and he is buried. Paul Acosta. The first down in Las Vegas for the rear field team. You think the XFL is raw action? Wait till you see WWF Raw. Two hours at the edges. Action on television. Don't miss the number one show on all of cable tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, 8 central on TNN. Along with Brian Bosworth, Chris Raggy, Michael Barkan, Darren Torres, I'm Chris Marlowe. XFL football on UPN. It's 9-3. The Outlaws leading the Maniacs. Las Vegas with the ball. Blue 98! Backed up. Packer! Come on. Blue 98! Packer! And Blue 98 Packer is going to cost them five yards, Boz. What happened on a play like that? What happens? You know, I either somebody on the defensive line is calling out, barking out the signals, or they're just Prior not getting the on, the, on the end of the ball end. start. Offense number 74. Half the distance to the goal. It's still first down. All right, if you just joined us, Jim Kreiner's number one quarterback, Ryan Clement, the star from Miami, got knocked out of yeah. the game on some say a late hit. Bosworth thought it was a late hit by Shante Carver. Separated shoulder out of the game. This is the number two quarterback, Mike Cauley. 28 from Washington, D.C. Cauley throws incomplete. Coach, I got to ask you, how are things now with your backup quarterback in there? It looks like they're having a cadence problem, a lot of penalties. We have. We get, he's got to settle down and play. From a confidence standpoint, do you have confidence? Yeah, I believe he can play. and I believe we can get the job done with him. We shall see. Two Man, undefeated. You got to say that. Oh, you got to say that. What are you going to say? That you ain't got any confidence? The guy sucks? No, you got to say that as a head coach. Second. We can sack it up to him. Second and 15. He hate me. Trying to turn the corner. That's he hate me's eighth rush. You know, John, John Williams making the tackle. He hate me now with 26 yards. So they've done a good job bottling him up. They've done a great job, and you know why? When Ryan Clement went out, Las Vegas' offense went to a one-dimensional, one-dimensional offense. Now they got nothing in the passing game. They're going to have to try to get a ground game established. 33. Use those big guys up front. I got two. I got two. I got the pick. Third and 12. Red 15! Red 15! Hot! Blitz. It's picked up nicely. Colley with time. Throw it. He does. He oh, no! Nakia oh. Jenkins, how does he eat with those hands? What a goat. Unbelievable. The, the best pass so far that, that, that Colley has made, and Nakia can't come down with it. What the hell is that all about? You got to come down with that kid, oh. big guy. That gets you out of a hole. That changes field position just like that. It is a wet night here in Memphis. Ball might be a little slippery. Boz said it was painted black, so it's slick. So maybe we give the guy a break. Set the kick. What? Nothing. Is McCallum. Pay to play. You got to play to pay to produce. Nice. High snap. McCallum gets it off. No fair catch. It's a beauty. All the way back is Kevin Prentice. Prentice bottled up. And he is smothered by a pussy oh, of that lad. They took the ball away. Ball's down, ball's down. I didn't hear what this guy go. Oh, referee's running. And I think Where the man is Well, let's see what happened. Cornell Menifee picks the ball up. Receiver downfield on the kickoff. Number 20. All right, number 20 got downfield too quickly. Number 20 on the kicking team was illegally downfield. Five yards will be added to the end of the run. Yeah, that, first down. That doesn't hurt. That doesn't. That doesn't hurt the, the maniacs. Cornell Menifee picks that ball up. Blind Hog finds an acorn there, honey. Uh, a 27-yard return. Uh, 
Deontay, Juan Nikhil, everybody back in the O. The Maniacs cheerleaders are revved up now, boss. That's the break they need. Again, we talked about field position a minute ago. Now they're down in the close to the red zone. Oh, but it's still Memphis ball still, back there. Right. I think they're going to bring the ball back, though. There was an inadvertent whistle on the play. The uh -oh. ball will be spotted at the spot of the whistle. Uh -oh. It's Memphis's ball. There'll uh -oh. still be a five-yard penalty for the illegal receiver downfield on the kicking team. First down. Man, don't got a little like excited. it. That referee got a little excited. You know, sometimes you want to take the referee out back behind the bar and hit him in, a, in the backside with a whip. It's an unfortunate break for Memphis. They had the ball down there about the 30-yard line. Now they're going to get about the 50, about 20 yards of real estate there. Second quarter, Las Vegas leading 9-3. You know, Marcus Crandall adds the intangible dimension of unpredictability. He's both a runner and a passer. So his big yards, his big damage is going to come outside the pocket. Keeping needs to get him outside the pocket. Green 80! First down, Maniacs. Play fake. Oh! oh, oh. Loose football! And Las Vegas has it! What a hit! Jamal Williams comes in and just cleans his ID! Nobody picks up the blitz! He got nowhere to go, nowhere to hide! It's a big turnover! Randall is you nailed. Can't, you can't keep Randall inside the pocket. Got to get him outside contorment. That's Angel Rubio, 25-year-old from Missouri, played at Southwest Missouri State. Jamel Williams making the hit. That's a good job, defense. Water. Thank you. Get the water for the big man. He comes up with a recovery. Set. Now, Las Vegas. Pass over the middle, incomplete. Wide open was Besh, and we've got a marker down. A ton. That's a late hit right there. When did That's you a late hit. When did you ever complain about late hits? You're like a, I'm a not born again or something. About late. What are you talking about? I'm not complaining about you, late you, hits. You're complaining on every hit. See. Oh, the guy hit the guy right. late. Ball's gone. Boom. Oh, come on. That's crap. Tapped him. That's crap. He tapped him. If you were playing, you would be crying on that. Oh, come on. Come up behind and stick him in the back. On. What the hell's that? You're going to hit him, hit him in the mouth. Wah. Wah, wah, wah. I'm about to spike you. <laughs> You're going to find out what a late hit's all about. Clock running. 10 12 to play, second quarter. Play fake. Collie has a man. Pass. Whoa, that's off the turf. That's off the turf. Cornell Menifee was there. Menifee getting a chance to play. Casper Styles, And you can see Colley trying to get his act together, boss. Not sure exactly what to do. You know, it's confidence, man. You got to see reps, especially quarterback. You got to be able to get in there and see reps time and time again. And I, I guarantee you, Colley's not getting the kind of reps back in Vegas. He's 0 for 3. And all of his passes have been ugly, with the exception Set. of the one that Nikea missed down in the middle of the field. Red 96 Packer! Red 96 Packer! Hot! Blitz coming. Oh, they have the ball to Hayley. That's what I'm talking drilled. about. Mike Sutton, number 99, lowers the boom. Lots of fire. That's what I'm talking about right there. Mike Sutton coming in, making a statement. Let's go, buddy. Hit him in the mouth, right, boss? That's what you like. That's, a, I, right. that's what I like. Pick him up. Defense is like being a farmer. Sometimes you're the tractor. The offense is the plow. Just plant some corn, baby. Set. Third and long for the Outlaws. A defensive hey, top, struggle top, top, top. so far. And timeout. Taken by Colley. We're coming back. Timeout. Nine. Has the lead. Big crowd here.
at the Liberty Bowl watching XFL football in prime time on UPN. The Outlaws 9, the Maniacs 3. There are the XFL cheerleaders. Let me give you the names quickly. Lori, Dory, Corey, Tori, Rory, <laughs> Glory, and oh, Corey. No. Interestingly, Ori named after Laker Robert Ori, and I'm told, Boz, that they're all outstanding Jeopardy players. <laughs> they know the final answer to the final question. Okay, here That's we go. Good stuff. Set! Red 80! Red 80! Hot, hot, hot! Outlaw offense has gone dormant since the injury to Clement. Colley. And he is drilled. Yeah, baby! Let's go, Tommy! Leonte Reams was there along with Shante Carver. Hey, they can't hold on. Mike, you guys are moving in reverse out there. What's going on? Uh, we just got to get back in sync. Um, you know, the defense is playing well. We just got to get back in sync. I got to get back in the flow game. That Sam Backer is right in your face every play. Is intimidating to you or what? Is that affecting you? No, it's not affecting me at all. I don't worry about what they're doing. Just worry about what we're doing. All right, plenty of worries for Las Vegas. High snap, trying to push it. It's a live ball. And we got whistles down. Let me see. We've got a marker down. Delay of game. Prior to the snap, delay of game, offense number 17. Five-yard penalty. It's still fourth down. Richard Huggins, you play an intimidating kind of football tonight, aren't you? Oh, yeah. It's all smash mouth every day, all day. And you're trying to get in their face and intimidate. Damn right. Damn, that's the name of the game right there. I love him, man. He's always looking to lay somebody out. He had seven tackles a week ago, led the team, the team's only sack. He is a big time player, boss. Dude, he is huge, man. I stood next to him, man. And I thought I was kind of a big linebacker at 235. That guy's like 260, man. He's got gun. He got howitzers on them shoulders. We got a redo here. McCallum will kick again. No fair catch. Oh, that's a beauty. We might see a smack on this one. Oh, and that's going to be punt return interference, I think. Did they get in the danger zone? Yeah, throw the flag. The flag? The flag there is when the ball goes out of bounds, it's a 10-yard penalty back up field from when the ball goes out of bounds because it was not touched by the receiving team. Although it should have been a call of an infraction of the danger zone there. Boss, Sorry, coming man. in with the rules. Dude, I'm impressed. I was an academic All-American. I had to read the study. Scrimmage kick out of bounds. 10 yards will be added to the spot. First down. All right, the Bush XFL rules. Let's examine the punt recovery. Test me. No fair catch. What's the next one, Buzz? Kicking team has to have a five-yard radius or the danger zone to catch the ball. Well, how, how did you know that? Time. How did you know that? I can read, baby. Okay, what about, the, what about the next one? Kicking team may recover the ball after travel 25 Please, yards. Live ball, that? baby. Live ball. How did you Why do that? Yeah. You read it off the screen. I'm a genius. Back, green 80. First down, Maniacs. Green 80. Hunt. Okay, Marcus Crandall remains the quarterback. He hands off to Rashawn God, Salam. Marcus Crandall playing with a sore foot, boss. And we've got a fight. Antonio Edwards came in and did a great job of plowing Rashawn Salam down to the turf hole now. When Antonio Edwards is playing probably the toughest one out there right now, with the exception of Kurt Gavea. God damn, you'll you see that fight. There they go. So a second and eight, Green a two-yard gain. <laughs> Crandall, pass complete. Charles Jordan, and Jordan with a good gain. He's out of bounds. He should have a first down, gain of 11. That's a real raggly-ass job out there by Corey Blackwell. If you're going to let the guy out there and catch the ball in front of you, you got to at least come down and break down and make the play. He catches the ball clean. You got to break down and make that play. That is horrible. That's real raggedy ass. Charles Gordon had a groin pull last week. Uh, apparently, his groin has been attended to. And he is back in. Maybe Horry. Maybe. Seven years in the NFL. 10 green 80. 9 3 green Vegas. 80. Seven minutes to play. Safety blitz. Picked up nicely. Pass over the middle. Incomplete. And paying the price, Kevin Prentice got rocked. And Crandall may have got rocked. Got a flag down on that one late, though. Kurt Govea made the hit. Oh, Govea, what a great all-time player, and it looks like it's going to be holding. Listen to this. Listen to this. 
Kirk Cavea, man, I'll tell you what, that man is playing possessed. And he doesn't have to play for anything. He's already got two Super Bowl rings. He's just out there having fun, man. I'm loving him. Got I wish him. I could be him. Got him with Washington. Draw here, draw. Draw. Take him back, take him back. Three. Three. What number? We're trying to sort this one out. Holding offense number 42. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay, first down. And Roosevelt Potts, you don't need to hold as big as you is, man. You don't need to hold. Just unload on him. You know, dude. the unfortunate thing for Potts is that he's got his name back on his jersey this week, so they know exactly who helps. See what happened, Mrs. Potts? Not if bad. he was skippy, he'd be yeah. out there plowing people's butt down. Right, and nobody would know who he was. Green to the tight end. Green and team. First and 20. <laughs> Salam. This is what the Maniacs want to do, Buzz. They want to get that run-pass ratio about 50%. Yeah, but not on the first down and 20. You don't want to do that. You got some more. That's twice. That's twice. You know, Salam obviously didn't get his medication before they came out today because it's the second guy that he's pushed within three or four plays. I think he's a little upset he's not getting the kind of running room he's used to seeing. Eight yards and 26 yards. That's 3.3. He had more than that last week for sure by this time. Had 154 last week, Buzz. Couple of touchdowns. Green 80! Green 80! Hot! On second and 18, Crandall. Crandall's got time. We've got another marker down. The dump off to Salah. Salah. And he dives. Rashawn Salam upended by Kevin Scott. He got 12, but we've got another flag against the Maniacs. You got another holding down there on Michael Mason. So you know what was interesting? We talked to Kipper. spot, 10 yards. To Kipper yesterday, last week's game, the Memphis Maniacs on offense didn't have one penalty. Not one. I don't know how many they got today. Well, they're making up for it. Holding the law of averages. Offense number 84. The third penalty so far, Paz. Replay. And it's like they're at critical time. That's, that's the problem. They're killing your drive. Dolphin, Dolphin, Dolphin. Let's go. Gun, Dolphin left, deep base left. 585, backs cross on one, ready? 585, that's you're gonna get two comebacks on both sides you from your it? X and your Z receiver. And you're also gonna get a deep C with your, with your slot man. Alvin Harper on the outside. Will they go to him? Crandall. Throws, pass caught. Kevin Prentice. Near the 47-yard line. That's a good play. They, they went they went, and got a chunk of that yardage back. Kevin Prentice did a good job on his comeback on his out. That was about a 15, 16-yard pass play, and that's exactly what they need to do. Get it back in chunks as they move back down the field. Right, Big third down okay. here. Tack on 15 from the end of the run. So 15 yards coming up in the plus category. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense number 92. That's a 15-yard penalty from the end of the run, automatic first down. That's a huge mistake by Kelvin Kenny. Man, you got to think, when you got a guy back in the backfield and you got him in third down and, and forever, you don't give him a 16-yard play and then 15 yards of free real estate and a first down. <laughs> Another late hit, Buzz. Hey, man, they're playing dirty. Playing XFI. They don't call them the outlaws for nothing. Crandall hand the ball to Rashan Salam, and he has got a very short game. Joe Tuapala came down the line of scrimmage there. You know what? He gets off on the collision, and right there, he got off on that collision. Tuapala, a former San Diego State star, youngster. Tremendous potential. They like him because he's got great speed. He's got great speed, and he's a good learner. He's learning from Kurt Cavea. Uh, will, Will, Will. Nine, nine left, three. Will. The Outlaws right, leading the Maniacs. That blue Quick 90. Game. Quick game. Blue 90. Ooh, 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 ooh. Play fake didn't fool anybody, and Crandall throws it out of bounds. You know, you see Crandall on that hook. That foot's really bothering him. Oh, Dolphin. Oh, he couldn't. He couldn't get out, get out of my face. and scramble there. Kippy Brown, offensive coordinator for Jimmy Johnson okay. in Miami in 1998. Doesn't like All the right. camera real Dolphin, close. Dolphin he, left zip. He ain't like it right now smash. because he ain't letting his, his quarterback zip. isn't moving the ball he down the field like he's liking to. He loves yeah. 
Marcus you Crandall. The, the reason he has on, Crandall is because he wanted a mobile good. quarterback in the mold of no, Donovan no, no, McNabb. No, no. Well, he's got one. Unfortunately, this guy's got a bad foot right now. It's really affecting him getting outside containment. Crandall in trouble again. Boy, that oh. offense. That, oh. that Las Vegas defense. Calm down, Boz. Breaking through. Antonio Edwards. And Belli. Dion Kippy Brown's wife, how tough is it for you to watch your husband on the sidelines making decisions that determine the outcome of the game? Actually, it's extremely tough because I know that if he ever makes mistakes, he will just really ponder over it for the rest of the week, the night, and I mean, it's just really hard to live with him, too. Hunt is rolling. And, you know, and a marker's down. Good coverage by the special teams of the Maniacs. We're pinning him back in the back. We got a marker down. We had another fight. Brandon Sanders in on another fight, the former New York Giant. Like I said, baby, he's an outlaw. Got, right? got an illegal man downfield too early. He's an ugly punt. Five yards, Rich. Five yards. At five yards. Well, Kippy Brown. Huh? He's Kippy getting to work out tonight. Was illegally downfield. Five yards from the end of the run, first down. It's interesting, Buzz. We haven't seen the option with Bo Morgan, that controversial play that they ran, they fumbled, it really cost them. Will we see more of that down here? Would he do it again? I think the only time you're going to see that is when you get down and maybe a point after right, right. Or, right. Or, or a short yardage to get the first down. Right, get closer, maybe. Set. Las Vegas, hand off to He Hate Me. And He Hate Me brings it out. Taco by Shante Carver. Carver's mic. You know what? You're starting to see a little bit of the animosity yeah. happening on the sideline because they don't feel hurry, hurry, hurry. like this game is going the way it should be called, maybe. I have to agree with you, man. If you got a quarterback who's injured, you got to get him out of there. Second and eight. Cauley. He'll run. He's got a place. He's got a place to go. Good punt. Remember, you cannot slide. You cannot slide. You're still eligible to be bombed. There's Ryan Clement. He was injured in the first quarter. Shante Carver with a, a borderline hit. Clement separated his shoulder. He's certainly out for tonight. It's really affected the, the Las Vegas yeah. uh, offense for sure. They've only got 54 yards of total offense. So Colley with his best play of the night, boss. He scrambles for a first down. Las Vegas on the move. And they roll him out. Nice pass, and it's incomplete. Another drop ball. Nakia Jenkins, his second drop tonight. You know, Colley threw that a little bit behind him. Although it's catchable it's ball, he needs to be able to catch that ball. Effect. Las Vegas has one timeout left. Memphis has two timeouts left. Thanks for clearing that up. Timeout for TV. Yeah, but UPN, we've got a timeout left, don't we, boss? We're let's gonna, take it right now. Let's go for it. Five, four, three, two. Give it to me. We're out of here. Coming up at the half, it's XFL All Access, brought to you by Burger King. We'll take you into both locker rooms for an unfiltered inside look as players and coaches break down the first half. You won't want to miss it. Burger King's XFL All Access halftime report coming up very soon. Birmingham 19, New York 12. You will see highlights of that at halftime. We're back at the Liberty Bowl. What a crowd on hand. It's been a damp, dismal, horrible day weather-wise, but the fans are here. It's 9-3 Las Vegas. Las Vegas operating with their second string quarterback. Their first quarterback, Ryan Clement, was knocked out. Hawkins with the big hit there. Man, did he come up with a big hit. I mean, he came up nasty like a $2 prostitute. He, and he's just sticking his head in there like he don't give a damn. That's what I like about the guy. And by rule, this is a 30-second timeout. Been lots of fights, lots of altercations, lots of animosity. These are two Western Division rivals. You don't think about don't like each the, other. They don't. They throw it incomplete. Of course, we don't need it. It's going to make a. It's going to make for a great, great matchup rematch right, okay. later on down the line. Fifth left. Okay, here we go. We're going to mark it. 88 Viking. Fifth left. 
What happens if you don't know what 88 Viking is and you're the quarterback yep. and you get that? Do you pre pretend like you do know it? No, you Just run out there and run whatever. You audible. You don't want to do that. You audible. You don't want to do that. If you don't know, man, you better get the hell out of this business. It's third and 10 for Vegas at the Outlaws 29. Third 15. Third 15. Hot. Boy, Carver is just getting off the ball. Pass incomplete. Shante Carver is getting a jump. It's like he knows the snap count, but worse than that, that was a horrible play call. Yeah, Hogan's and Carver are dominating. And Cauley is having a rough go of it. Big time. Should he go over and talk to Ryan Clement? I know Clement is injured, but could he get some insight from Clement? I, it can't, couldn't hurt, yeah. obviously. The guy can't hit the side of a barn for you standing inside of it. 9-3 Las Vegas, minute 44 to play. Outlaws will kick. Once again, no fair catches. You've heard the rule. Over 25 yards. It's a live ball when it's bouncing. That's live. You better get on that, Go baby. get it. And picking it up quickly was Kevin Prentice. That was a good punt. That's, yeah, that's the best way to, to punt this this new rule with the 25 yard and it gets a live ball. You got to hit the you got to hit the ground fast and you got to hope that ball takes that crazy bounce like like he does. And you got to get some speed demons on the outside and see if you can't cover it. Antonio Belly, you know, Antonio Belly's name actually means beautiful man of the sea. He grew up as that first love of boxing. He grew up idolizing Rocky. I'll tell you over more in a minute. First down, wide receiver screen. It's Charles Jordan. Jordan around his man, skips by a guy and gets about nine. Charles Jordan with the reception. No, it's not a first down, Maniac fans. A little bit short. Let's go, Dolphin left gun. Paint left on one. Ready? Paint left. Paint left. Paint left. Paint left. This will be a good drill for them. A two minute drill trying to get down. They've got to get some points. Green 18! Green 18! Hot! Randall. Draw play, Salam, and he is taken down by Angel Rubio from Southeast Mississippi State. A two-yard loss, and they're, they're another, wrestling again. Another fight, another fight. You know, an angel, he loves that double team. He says, bring on that double team, man, because I love it when I get double team. Great thing about him is he wants to be a firefighter like his daddy when he grows up. Well, then say his name right, Angel. I got Angel, dude. Angel. Angel Rubio. Quick game, quick game. 44. I'll let him correct me. Thank you very much. 9-3. Maniacs, and we've got either a false start or offside. Boy, I tell you what, both defensive well, no. lines, boss, are really getting off. Prior to the snap, false start, offense number 79. Five-yard penalty, it's still third down. You know what? This game, as it goes on in the third and fourth quarter, is going to be won inside the tackle. Let's go, Dolphin left gun. Once again, Ready, early in this season, cross on one. Ready. defense is always ahead of the offenses, and it's been true in XFL play. Let's green 80, time. let's go. 148. Green 80, hot. On third and seven. Four. Crandall on target. Jordan with the reception. Charles Jordan, seven years in the NFL. Kevin Scott driving him out of bounds. Charles Jordan, yes, if you remember no, him, no, he was a guy no, that was in Green Bay, and he actually took the rap for a DUI for his buddy. Base left, base left, because base of that, they ran him out of Green Bay. 89, 89. Under a minute to play. Maniacs trying to get in field goal position, or perhaps more. Pass, oh, Pass a little bit behind him. Alvin's got to make that play. Harper opposite Michael Irvin. I'm coming on the cross. And he's saying, lead me a little bit. Yeah, he should have led him a little bit. Let you know? me, Bubba. Alvin came to the XFL so his four-year-old son, chip, chip, Alvin chip, chip, Jr., could chip. watch his daddy play football. My 48, my 48. That green 80. Green 80. Hot. Second and ten, Crandall unloads, incomplete. 
Andrew O'Belly comes back up, makes a big play, gets in Crandall's face. We'll go back and tell him about, about, about Adriano. Told you his, his, his that's all they doing, man. His big that's big that's movie that's back then was Rocky. Rocky. His father owns for Blaine Burger. Shut up. Shut up. His, his, his father owns a, a meat packing plant up in Canada. He said he'd go in there just like Rocky used to do, and he'd hit the, hit the sides of the beef. He said he could crack the, the rib of a lamb, but when it came to the rib of a, of a cow, that's a little bit tougher. Couldn't quite do it, could he? Third down. Randall pass deflected. Number 28, Jamel Williams, the former Husker with the deflection. That's a second big play that Jamal Williams has made today. First, the 80-yard touchdown, and now a big breakup in the middle of the field to kill this drive right before halftime. A frustrated Alvin Harper. Crandall talking to his coach. Maniacs have to kick 19 seconds to go. Punt block may be on. They get it away. It's a live ball. back. Oh, he got nailed. Tyrone Bell came in and tried to take his head off. So eight seconds to play here in the first half. Comes in with a low, low kick. Just listen to it. You got nothing to hear there, but I tell you what, Mike Furry could certainly feel it. All right, do you throw a Hail Mary listen here, boss, if you're a coach? You got one or play, take a knee. you got a quarterback who can't hit nothing? Yeah. No. Take a knee. That's the end of the first half. Coach, he has disappeared. Your passing game is terrible right now. Who do you have to chew out here in the locker room? Well, I'm not going to chew anybody. I'm going to try to get a few things straightened out, see if we can't do a better job offensively. That's all. Coach Brown, what are you going to do offensively? Your defense is playing well, but your offense is struggling. Well, we just got to go back and execute. We're just not executing. We're not blocking anybody. We're not picking up uh, little stunts and twists, and, and, and that we've got to do it. We're okay. Bottom line, both offenses have stunk. The defenses have dominated. When we come back, the Burger King halftime report. XFL all access. We're going in when we come back. Going in the black hole of the locker room. Halftime, Outlaws 9, Maniacs 3. You're watching the XFL on UPN. We're back. We're going into the locker rooms now, folks. The Burger King halftime report. XFL all access. Will we get some action? Will we get some animation? We hope so. They Both teams some. have a lot to chew on, though, don't they, boss? Uh, did they, they need to start chewing out big time in that Memphis locker room. There will be two teams competing at Chappelle's star. You should be real disappointed in there. It's both. The losers, get nothing. And just the way the one one Yeah. When I go out, when I go out, you're done. What are you talking about? I'm going to do line and run a counter when a guard is pulling. I just went one up the field. When they did me like that, the guard was so slow. Shit. Burger King, the home of the Whopper, presents XFL All Access as we head into the Las Vegas locker room. Yeah. 
get up here where you can see. Get up here and kick these guys out of your way if they're in your way. Yeah. Uh, Maniacs. Hi, everybody. Chris Marlowe and Brian Bosworth. Certainly the biggest play of the first half. The hit to Ryan Clement, the Las Vegas Outlaws quarterback. When he went out of the game, Boz, their offense went down the drain. Boy, did it go down the drain fast, man. It went straight down the tube, and they haven't been able to get anything going offensively at all. I don't know if it's the, the play calling or just the fact that Cauley just doesn't have any confidence on there, but he doesn't look like he's in control at all of that offense. Folks, earlier today, Brian Bosworth was at cheerleader practice, and he called me on his cell phone, and he told me that defenses would be the story tonight. You were right. That's true. I was right about the, uh, the fact that there's going to be defensive, defensive struggle. But here's the highlights of the first half. You know what? He sits in there. He does exactly what he has to do as a quarterback. He takes the damage, and then he does the damage. That was a beautiful pass from Clement. And a little later, the bomb, Kevin Prentice going deep, and Crandall right on the money. That set up the Maniacs, field goal. Here's the biggest play of the half right now. Takes him, drives him into the curb. You can hear that. I mean, I've separated my shoulder a lot of times, and I know what that feels like. I mean, here's a fumble recovery right here. He gets up, nobody even touches the guy. Blind Hall finds an A-court, 80 yards later, it's six points for Vegas Outlaws. Yeah, Kaiser with the sweet run back. So the running back comparison, both teams uh, having trouble running the ball, both running backs struggling. No question about it. And we talked about it earlier. I think this game's gonna be won inside the tackles. There's so much going on inside. It's just like prom night at the Mustang Ranch, baby. Everybody's getting banged. All right, a little bit earlier, there was a ball game. It was on TNN. It was a slugfest all the way. Great crowd in New York. Let's show you some highlights. Frank Minervini with Bob Golick at Giant Stadium. David Wheeler. There. Early on, the, the interception the proved to be a big play. New York getting on the board early. Something they didn't do against Vegas last week against uh, against them out in Las Vegas Sandboy Prince Stadium. Birmingham comes back fast. They got a lot of weapons over there. Casey Weldon. You know, the thing that disappoints me most about the New York is their defense isn't as tough as I thought they were. Turning on the afterburners. 95 yard return with the conversion of 13 6 lead. He turned out to be one of the most explosive players this ball team has. Mike Archie's second touchdown of the day brought the hitman within one, but they could not convert the extra point. Then, Charles Valeri had a slow start, came on strong, crazy play here in the fourth quarter, but the ball was stripped. Keith Franklin touchdown, 19 for a vote. Valeri heard the New York Blue Bulls. Charlie, some of the fans were chanting, Charlie sucks. What do you respond to that? That's okay. 
I'm a grown man, I can take it. They have their opinion, that's fine. We didn't win today, so they can say whatever they want, which is fine. I'm from New York, I'm a big boy, I can take it. You can keep booing, I love it, baby. I'll be back next week and the week after. All right, the standings in the Eastern Division. Orlando looks like it has a very good club at 2-0. Birmingham 1-0, Chicago and New York both struggling in the early going. Western Division, two undefeated teams. The first place up for grabs tonight. Los Angeles got a big win, and San Francisco also 1-1. One and one. Welcome back, everybody. We have a star with us. He is the biggest thing in Memphis since Elvis. His name is Jerry Lawler. They call him the king. Welcome to UPN. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Of course, I'm a, you know, I'm a veteran here on UPN every Thursday night. Michael Cole and I host SmackDown, and are getting ready tomorrow night to host Monday Night Raw on TNN. And, you know, I want to tell you just a little bit about Monday Night Raw. We got this group on Raw called well, right to censor. No, you know I, I hate that. I hate I, those no guys. No censorship. I exactly. hate that. Well, there's a very special person in the WWF now that, well, she started her own movement. It's called the Right to Nudity, and I want to bring Ooh. her in. The cat is here oh. with us tonight in Memphis, and the cat has started the Right to Nudity, but it's so cold tonight here in Memphis. I, I thought we'd get to see a little nudity, but I guess it's too cold for the cat, right? Yeah, it's too cold. King, a little cold weather never hurt anybody, and it's so won't stop the cat. What are you talking? Whoa! Whoa! Wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done yet. Oh no! Wait! No! Oh, no! 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 Wait! No! Wait! 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 Every, just went up. Every beautiful blonde that I know is named Cat. I happen to be married to one, and there's another one out there that's standing right here in front of me. So I tell you what, God's grace is good at all times, isn't it? Well, I think we're going to get to see all of the Cat tomorrow night on Raw. Woohoo! I'm turning in for that one. Jerry Lawler, thank you very much for stopping by. Cat, thank you guys. Come Great back. game here tonight. Cat, come back. We'll see you at the start of the third quarter. All right. Every big hand for them, yo! Good job, this Cat. has been XFL nice job, All Access presented by Burger King. Yes, Burger King, All Access, home of the Whopper. <laughs> We're coming back. We'll have more on UPN after this. That was some good stuff. Good job, defense. Two timeouts, right? We're back. Big crowd here at the Liberty Bowl. A tight slugfest. It's 9-3 Las Vegas. Jim Kreiner's Outlaws and Kippy Brown's Maniacs. It has been hard hitting, Bob. Really, the defenses have control. Well, we knew they were. Defenses win championships. Just ask Baltimore. That guy looks like he's just gotten led out of the asylum. They're loving it down here in Memphis. Memphis is a football town. You know, Houston was in here for a brief moment, and then they just kicked. Memphis kicked Houston out, kicked them over to Nashville, and now I'll tell you what, the XFL is loving having a pro football team back in town. Two undefeated teams. That ball is live. It's rolling loose. And trying to get in there was Vegas, but it was picked up by a maniac. And the Maniacs will have the ball. The statistics presented by Miller, genuine draft. Boz, uh, total yards obviously favoring the Maniacs. They just haven't been able to do anything with them. Penalties have killed them at crucial times during their drives. So let's see what the Memphis Maniacs can do offensively. Marcus Crandall has all gone right. all the way at quarterback. 989. 
Behind him is Craig Wheelahan. Might you think about bringing Wheelahan right. in sometime? Right, you know what? If the play call doesn't ball. get better, because he's not utilizing Crandall the way he should be. He's a multiple quarterback, and the third and five and seven step drop, as we do right here. There he is again. Throwing the bomb on first down. He's got a man out there. And yeah. that's going to be pass interference. Jordan, I believe it was, had to come back for the ball. He had his man beat us. Yes, he did. That's a long throw, though. He, he threw that ball about 60 yards in the air. Corey Blackwell was covering. Well, pass interference, defense number 24. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul, automatic first down. I know, I know Marcus can throw that ball farther than this, but I guarantee you that foot is hard, hard for him to push off on and get the kind of throw that he needs to get down the field. Boz, that was a 43-yard penalty. The Maniacs. 10 green 80. They have the ball at the 35. Green First down. Rashan Salam. He grinds out about six or seven. Rashan did a good job there of Hell waiting yeah. for the hole to open. He didn't just go run up inside there. He found the yards and he cooked and he took Hell it. Hell yeah. What's cracking lately, baby? Under dig that. Under dig that. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. He's a long way. Number eight, ready? Eight, eight, eight. I asked Sanders if the Giants could have used him in the Super Bowl. I said, hell yes. They could have used me. Did you see those guys? They could have used me. Talk about sorry. They were real sorry. Yeah, he's confident. Second and five. Salah. This is Kippy Brown's game. He would like to grind it. He would like to run all day long, mix in some play action passes, as you suggested, Boz. No question about it. Kurt Cavea making a tackle, but he makes a tackle about three, four yards downfield. As long as they can continue this to move leg. the ball down in three or four yard chunks, strong. it plays all exactly that. into what Kippy wants to do. Third down and two. Third and short for the Maniacs. The Las right, Vegas defense. Digs in. I think you're rolling out here. You've got to roll him out and make the boot do something interesting. Green 80. Hot. Blitz. Salam. He's got the first down as he tiptoes. Joe Tui Pala making the tackle. Folks, if you're new to the XFL, you're just tuning in for the first time tonight. There is a $100,000 bonus pool. You play in the XFL, you can win money for winning. $2,500 per player, $100,000 overall, boss. Right. So these guys right, are going it, all out. On one, big time, especially as much as Uncle Scam got that in the last check. Right. They need every dollar they can get. Back if, up. Hey, keep them back, guys. If you right. missed that story, the Maniacs got their first check today. The government took out too much. They said it was a a clerical error and that they were going to try to rectify that somehow. Yeah, right. Sure. We'll see that money somewhere down. Tell you what, it looked like Salam had the first down by plenty, but the spot was unkind. But yet he still gets it. Expected pay 7,500 if you're a quarterback and you get the bonus. Uncle Sam, look at that. If you had a $7,500 check, 4,300 taken out by the government. They're going to try to get that all cleared up, but you know, that's not Uncle Sam, that's Uncle Clinton. And we're paying for that for that nice posh hotel office he gets in uh, Washington. Great stories with Michael Lewinsko. <laughs> the pitch out. Salam, he gets a great block and he's upended at the 15. Well, let's just say the Maniacs have a lot of George Bush fans now amongst the football players. Yeah, but they're not going to get that money back until way late in the year. Maybe they get it back sooner. Kevin Scott did a great job of an open, open field tackle. It's a nice play here. Little option play. Rashawn Slump gets out of the corner. Hey, Kevin Scott does a great job. He's a man on an island. He's got to make a play on a big back. Kevin Scott, a former Stanford player. 54, 54. Maniacs yeah, driving. Salam doing a lot of the work. Blue 98. Hot. Rashawn again. Salam breaks to the outside. Cuts inside. Salam driving inside the 10. Kurt Kavea hanging on. Vintage Salam. Rashawn Salam. His combination of speed and power makes him probably the most feared back in the league. Crowd comes alive. He was runner-up for the XFL Player of the Week. That honor went to John Avery, deservedly so. But Salam had a big one. He did have a big one. John had 250 go, yards, up. though. I'm right. Fake dive right. Quarterback keep pass right. Halfback smash. I'm one. He right. hate me. He oh, got the I'm attention. Up, 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 but Salam doing the work. Sean with a big, big name. He hate me with a big name.
Well, first man, and goal. And taking timeout is quarterback Marcus Cranton. Timeout. Memphis. We're coming it's back to the Liberty Bowl. 11:23 to play. Las Vegas leading Memphis. Nine. We got three. How we get lined up in the right formation? Oh no. When I'm off the field, I'm your TJ Mulligan's girl. Bartending has given me a great education and a wonderful life. I enjoy meeting people and making sure they're having a good time. Asking people, what's your flavor? What kind of beer do you want tonight? But on the most important night, I'm your Memphis Maniacs cheerleader. Bar is open. Bottoms up. <laughs> her given name. Thank God, I, I don't drink liquor. Mariah's men are back out onto the field. After the 43-yard pass interference penalty, Rashawn Salam doing all the work. 25 yards on this drive. Salam is out in the flat. He's looking for Salam. Salam has it. Salam at the five. Rashawn Salam sitting in the end zone. A 98-yard fumble recovery and run for Kurt Govea. Dude, I'm stunned. We had talked about the fumbleitis problems of Rashawn Salam in the past. He just, he just fell off the wagon. It's a great play. Get him out of here. was the man who knocked it loose. Joe Tuipala, the Aztec. Well, I tell you, I don't know that that's a fumble right there. And we don't have instant replay here in the XFL. We like it controversial. Third turnover for Memphis. Now, Las Vegas with a 15 to three lead. They go for one. Chakuma. Rashawn, what happened there? Was that a fumble, Rashawn? Was that a fumble? Kurt, was it a fumble? Or did the ground cause it? It doesn't matter. I'll have the referees decide on that. But not too bad for a 23 year old man. 98 yards. You ever run that far? 23. Yeah, we all have fun out here. You got to have it. Kurt Govea. I I'll bet it. you he's never run farther than that in his entire career. Not unless the coach made him. Yeah. So Salam fumbles, the Maniacs going in. All the momentum has turned, Boz. Tell him shit. Get it right. Hey. Hey, guys. Guys, you're screwing this. You're screwing this whole damn thing up. You're screwing it all up. I have to agree with you, Kip. Let's go. Come on. Hey, keep Look her like cool. Let's go. Keep her cool. Look like keep he was cool. down to me, man. I tell you what, you can see all the helium just deflated out of Rashawn Salam right there. And he feels horrible. He just let his teammates down. He drove all the way down the field to take the lead here in front of this sellout crowd. Salam was running hard. So the Maniacs think it was not a fumble that his knee perhaps was down. But I tell you what, once you lose the football, boss, your fast guy's got to chase Govea down. What happened there? You got to play till you hear the whistle. It shocked everybody, it took everybody by, by surprise. So the Outlaws in command now, leading 15 to three, and the Maniacs are going to have to cycle up a little bit. They need some help here. Blasting through is Bo Morgan. One more look. Was it a fumble, Brian Bosworth? You're an expert, so you say. Take a look at him. It. It's a great play. Five yards. I don't know what.
shot that guy right there and the Sabres started smoking, but he looked like he was stoned. He didn't even move. That was horrible, Paul. Like his elbow hit the ground and the ball popped out. Gobert has to come out. He's wheezing. You know what? This is where you find out how good your team is. Bad things happen. So Memphis left them good of it. Three turnovers, Boz, and it has really killed him. Crandall stays in at quarterback, and they hand it right back to Rashawn Salam. Salam at the 50. Salam out of bounds. So Rashawn Salam pushed out of bounds by Kevin Scott. He comes back with authority, 27 yards. The balloon just got inflated on one play, and that's what you got to do, Kippy. You got to give the ball back to your star. That's the way Salam ran when he was at Colorado Buffalo. Shades of the Heisman. So a first down. First half, he struggled. This quarter, 49 yards, so he's cranking it up. Right, man, he wants to break a big one here, boss. He, you pissed him off. And we've got another false start, another marker down. So a marker's down, 15 to 3, Las Vegas leading Memphis. Let's get the call. First down, 71 offense. Prior to the snap, that was Earl Scott, start, the offense, right guard, number 71. Five yard penalty. How would you grade the Memphis down. offensive line right now, Buzz? Memphis I'd offensive them, line. I'd give them a D, maybe even F. They haven't given Marcus Crandall the kind of time that he needs. Knowing he's injured, they can't pick up the line stunts up front. I know that the defensive front seven of Vegas is good, but you got to be able to pick him up and at least give him three, four seconds to throw that ball and find his, and find his receivers downfield. This would appear to be a must score drive for the Memphis Mavericks. Crandall, play action. He's got a man, throws, pass complete. Mark Thomas, the tight end out of North Carolina State. He gets eight. I can't do that with Coverage by Jason Kaiser. Here's Mark Thomas. Tell you what, Mark Thomas was a two-time winner of the Sportsmanship Award in North Carolina. What the hell is a sportsman? You gotta, you gotta give that award back to get here in the XFL. No Sportsmanship Award played here at the XFL. No, no, it's not right. No more season, no good sports. No, it's about winning. Just win, baby. Just win. Green Second and seven. Crandall's got two men out the pattern. And the pass is dropped. We dropped the dust here, baby. And I hit him right in the pants. Charles Jordan. Can't catch the ball, huh? Oh, Scott is digging him. Can't catch, huh? Oh, yeah. He's in Charles Jordan's head right now. He's got his head down. He knows he's going to catch that ball. Deep scan, right? 785 option on one. Ready? Yeah, the Maniacs uh, unraveling faster than a Firestone tire. Their offense is just, just bad right now. Oh, that killed And they have to take another timeout. Oh, you don't want to do that. Third quarter. We are coming back. A switch. Switch. The running back. A frustrated Maniacs team. You got to come over here. It could get ugly, folks. The Maniacs are mad. Yeah, third and one. We're coming back. Outlaws 15. Maniacs. Three. <laughs> XFL on UPN is brought to you by Cold Filtered Miller Genuine Draft. Never miss a genuine opportunity. By the motor oil that provides maximum protection. Castrol GTX. Drive hard. By Monkey Bone. Starring Brendan Fraser and Bridget Fonda. February 23rd. Only in theaters. And by Lugs. The boots and shoes with an attitude. Since you never know what you might run into. Lugs. Boots and shoes. Welcome back to the XFL in prime time on UPN. Marcus Crandall. 7 of 16 for 114 yards. But 53 of those yards, Boz, were on one play to Prentice. He's had three drop passes there. And they've been a crucial time. Green 80. Rush 84. Green 80. What? That's a good call. That's a good call. That's a good call. We got to get on with it. Randall throws incomplete. If you're Coach Kippy Brown, when do you think about perhaps replacing the quarterback? I think about changing my play call in first before okay. I change my, yep. my, my yep. quarterback. All right. 
So you say right. stay with Crandall. Dolphin right I switch. Dolphin right gun right. switch. switch. Be base. They've dominated this game. They've got 187 yards. Be base. Oh, 785 Vegas options. Is 52. The problem is the horror is yeah. abysmal yeah. on third yeah. down. Dolphin right gun the switch. Two for nine. You check right. 785 option on one. Ready? All right. Fourth and seven. Right. Big play here for the Maniacs. Go ahead, let's they go, trail 15-3 with eight and a half minutes to go. Green 80. In the third. Right. Crandall, plenty of time. Throws! Almost intercepted. Alvin Harper was the intended receiver. Brandon Sanders with there. That should shut him up for a moment because he dropped a sure pick. And Harper having a tough night. That right there is a bad pass. Alvin Harper runs a, a route, but he's throwing in the double cover. Brandon Sanders back there, the power broker of the secondary, is just sitting back there watching the quarterback reading his, uh, reading his throw. So the fourth down play he is a done. Huh? And Las Vegas huh? takes over. Chris Chakuma <laughs> is the running back. Chakuma out of Arkansas, tackled by Richard Hogan's. Chakuma played for a nut down in Arkansas, Houston nut. Yeah. And Harper looking for someone maybe to chew out. I don't know, someone to commiserate with. Having a rough Oscar. night. Set. Second and six. Blue 13 Packer. 13 six. Blue 13 Packer. Hot. Blitz coming. Hand the ball to Chakuma. And Chakuma driving for a couple. Mike Sutton. Making the tackle. How, how you doing? What's the matter? Huh? Hey, Third down and three for Las Vegas. Doesn't want to talk about his performance. He hates me, has been average, but you have to admire what Las Vegas has done. Without its top quarterback, Cauley, his best pass of the night. There goes Mike Furry, and Furry gets to the 39. If you weren't with us earlier, Las Vegas is number one quarter quarterback, Ryan Ryan Clement injured. He, he has not returned. There, best pass of the day by Cauley finds a little soft spot. Furry does what he has to do. Nice hit by Rico Clark. Too late. Too late. Too late. Picks up big yardage. That is Mike Cauley's oh, first Ernie. completion. Oh, He'll hand the ball to Chakuma. So he hate me is out of the game right now. He hate me on the sideline. And hey, Chris Chakuma get, getting some work. Trying to get Chuck Wagon as they call him rolling. They say, they're saying that uh, he probably got some cramps. Maybe that's from being out late last night instead of being where he's supposed to be in bed, taking care of what he's supposed to be doing, is playing football and winning football games for his football teammates. He did, he did not have the sweet routine, Brian Bosworth. Brian, 90, hot. Second and five. <laughs> Looked like the Maniacs jumped. Cauley running for his life. Unloads deep. And that's way overthrown. If you don't know much about Mike Cauley, he came out of James Madison University in Washington, D.C. He's 28 years old, 6'1", 210. Originally signed by the Detroit Lions in 1998. Bounced around a little bit, and now he's getting his chance, Boz. If Clement is out, you've had a separated shoulder. You're going to be out for a while. Yeah, you're going to be out for a while. So it's going to be Cauley's call for a while. Cauley's got to get some confidence. First down, first down, right? If you're wondering, Jim Ballard is the emergency quarterback behind Cauley. Third and five. There he is. There he is. Cauley on the money. Pass complete. Nakia Jenkins caught one. Who gonna push that? That's a that's a poor job by Rico Clark by not falling back into coverage there. Nakia Jenkins, a big receiver from Utah State. Nice play here, boss. Yeah, he waits, he waits. He's got plenty of time. He finds Nakia behind the coverage. You can't let guys get behind you in coverage, especially as we're getting close to the red zone. Big man of the Nakia dropped his first two. And he has got the outlaws set up. First and goal at the nine. Chakuma. Chakuma driving. Chakuma touchdown. Woo! Chris Chakuma. 
You know, this is a guy, he's got 4'4 four, four speed boss, 232 pounds. And they say he's too nice, that he's not serious enough about football. Well, that time he showed his serious side and banged it home. Question about the combination of power and speed. He's a bruiser with an overdrive here. Coach say he's got all the talent in the world. He just doesn't know it yet. They say he does a great Eddie Murphy impression. That was Sherman Klump driving hard right up the middle. They go for the point. You can't kick it in the XFL. You gotta run it in. Or pass it in. Shakuma bottled up. You got a marker down. There's a marker down in the end zone. So this may be uh, maybe coming back. Let's see. Twelve men on the field on defense. Well, that's going to be a penalty Happy every time, the boss. Goal, uh, unless you get the track. an Oklahoma uh, yep. referee who can't count. I'm just beating you to the line because you're going to feed me that anyway. <laughs> you ever have 12 men Number on the field on defense, boss? We could have played with yeah. nine men on the field and been dominant. An receiver. It felt like that when you were out there, boss. It felt like you had 12 guys. We were dominant. Okay. All right, so they're going to do it again. The ball now spotted at the one. Let's go Pirate King, 96 slant. I want it's 96 slant. I don't know your run up. Sounds like a play, pass. Play, play pass <laughs> down here on the one yard line. 21 yep. 3. Outlaw's trying to get another one. Hot. Oh, instead. Oh, oh, look at that. Get your call. Oh, like oh. Boom legs. Sweet. Suddenly easy one. It's just like the Clinton years. The maniacs are getting smoked. <laughs> This guy's a different player here in the oh, second half. Oh, 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 put her down and squib it again. Put her down and squib it. They're having fun. They're handling it. Middle. Time out. Number eight in the right. Third quarter, the Outlaws are hammering the Maniacs. Hey, now this is the kind of game we didn't really want to get into, but here we are. All right. Okay. You up to it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, three scores. You gotta have three, yeah. three touchdowns. Coach Kippy Brown talking to former San Diego Charger quarterback Craig Wheelahan. So Kippy, what are you thinking? talking about? That was that was just before Marcus Crandall. He was that was Crandall to. there? Yeah. Don't you know a black guy from a white guy? Well, let me. Jesus Christ! He had a hood on. He had a hood on. You think these guys are having a blast? Wait till you see the WWF Smackdown. Two hours of all new action every Thursday night. The number one show on UPN Thursdays at 8, 7 central. Let me tell you this, boss. I was thinking he should be talking to Craig Wheelahan and make a change at quarterback. You Come know, on. They're... He's given Crandall time. you got to get Wheelahan in there. He's an NFL veteran. Let's see what he can do. I don't think he's he 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 bad. You got that, that, that soon, man. It's not that Crandall's done a bad that job. Soon. That last, Buzz. That last that touchdown by Vegas was the first 50. offensive touchdown in the game. Seven of 18 for 100 yards. 53 on one play. All right, let's see what the Maniacs can do. They trail 22 to 3. Oh. Pass is tipped. Good oh, hit. Good job. Good job. Well, Chuck Wagon, it looks like the people of Memphis hate you more than they hate, he hate me. Well, Memphis got to realize I wasn't but four hours away in University of Arkansas. So, you know what I mean? It's like home to me. All right, the Chuck Wagon, Chris Chakuma, a.k.a. A terrific running back for Houston Nutt at Arkansas. And a big right, right, run for a touchdown right, tonight. Right, 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 right. Green 80! Second down. Crandall pulling. Nicely done. A gain of seven. Alvin Harper making the catch. Troy Blackwell made him pay for it, I tell you what. Harper now 32 years old out of frostproof Florida and Tennessee. You know, they call Alvin Harper, a.k.a. Mr. Real Estate. You know, it's close to 40 homes in the Baltimore, Maryland area. He buys them, he fixes them up, then he places needy families in them. He says it gives them a fresh start. New home, built dream, to beautifies an area in the west part of Baltimore. Third to deuce, Salam banging hard, and he has the first down. Rashad Salam. 
Is it time to open up the offense? Is it time to perhaps I, replace the quarterback, Brian Bosworth? I know, Bosworth? you keep digging in that hole, saying, man. That hole, that hole ain't ready to be filled up yet. You got three, Mark, three Mark, 19 Mark, left Mark, in the third Mark, quarter. Get Don't man, abandon green your game plan. Green 18! Hot! Oh. and he is sacked. Boy, this Las Vegas defense. They're just pinning the ears very, down. very good. That was Marcel Willis who came up. He's got great speed coming off the corner there. They're just pinning the ears back. They know that they got to get three scores, and they know they're going to drop back and pass. The problem is they keep dropping back in a five and seven stop step drop inside the pocket. You got to get him outside the pocket. I know there's your boy. There's you think, Craig Wheelahan, the former charge. Right I'm just now. saying, when do you go to him, Boz? Deep You're a football quarter, expert. When do you go to him? When is it too late? Maybe after this series, get him two more. Hot. On second down, pass complete. Nicely thrown, nicely caught. Charles Jordan with the reception. Now, hell, you had him on the bench a minute ago. Just saying, Boz. 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 Look at the scoreboard right now. It's 22 to three. You're down. You have scored one no, no. field goal. You have three turnovers. He just, it is time, or you should at least consider a change. I'm not saying you have to do it. Just consider it. Consider it. Five, eight, three, five, eighty two. The only one. Ready? Double barrel, zero. Two, two, big third down here. Let's go. Let's go. It's third and four. Take green eighteen, Mike forty eight. Do you run salam or do you throw it? Green eighteen. You got it. Blitz coming. Oh, he dropped the football. Boz, your guy dropped the football. That's not good. And it's going to be fourth down. Coach, at this point, would you consider at all switching quarterbacks? Uh, sure, but right now, quarterback's not a problem. We're not executing, and uh, it's not problem. Where are you not executing? Mike. Hey, you're here, you see it. Every place. No fair catch. All right, the Maniacs uh, playing poorly as a team, trying to bring it back is Mike Furry. And we've got a man down at the 35 yard line, and he hops up. So Las Vegas will have it. Nah. I'll pull it out. So it takes more than one guy to win a football game, especially on the offensive side. You got to have 11 guys playing together. Let me give you a quick analogy, Boz. Then we'll listen to the quarterback. If you're president of the United States, things go well on your watch, you get credit. Things go poorly on your watch, you get the blame. Depends on if you got good. The quarterback is the president, Boz. Think about that. Five, two. 18. So Las Vegas. 18. First down and a big lead. He hit oh. me back in, so apparently. I see the cops. I see you. <laughs> Cornell Menifee comes in. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Paul Lacoste, your Paul guy, Lacoste. boss. That's my boy. Living a dream here. You know, he's diagnosed. Of 51 red dog stick. Diagnosed at a young age with ADD and hyperactivity, which is actually the chemical combination you have to have to be a linebacker. I had it. And folks, his idol growing up was Brian Bosworth. He loves the boss. Call oh, that oh. could have been a momentum turner. Oh, Paul. Paul Lacoste right there. He idolized Brian Bosworth. And he has the hands of Brian Bosworth. We're going to get somebody. And they got to know when they come to Memphis or we go to wherever they are, it's a wrecking crew. It's a little bit different than, than playing against somebody else. Because we want to hit you. We want to make you remember it. You're not going to come into our home and leave happy. You're going to be bruised, cut, and bleeding. Well, the Memphis defense has played reasonably well. It's been the Memphis offense that's been in trouble. And throwing it down the field, incomplete. He hate me, could not hang on. He's actually throwing it up for Brett Patch. Rod Smart comes up, takes the ball out of the air. That's the end of the So two receivers there, good pressure by the Maniac defense. I tell you, if you gave that guy a penny for his thoughts, you he'd change. have to give you a change, you boss. change back. <laughs> Frank Wheelahan <laughs> may be coming in soon. The former Charger is getting ready. What's that? You're watching.
watching the XFL on UPN. Craig Willahan, you're going to get your shot. You're ready to go here. Yes, sir. Go out there and try and make something happen. What's not been happening that you can fix? And there he goes. Craig Willahan ready to enter this game. All right, Las Vegas is going to punt, so apparently Kippy Brown is going to change quarterbacks. You're going to get your wish. You're going to get 22 your wish. 22 to 3 is our score. The Outlaws leading the Maniacs. And set to kick it is Paul McCallum. Remember, $100,000 in bonus money from the XFL riding on this game. This punt right here could be a big play for the Maniacs. Maniacs looking to block. They can't get there. It's a live ball. That's Kevin Prentice. And Prentice jukes across midfield. Five eighty-five backs cross. Hey, then you start. Tell him here in two minutes. All right, Greg Wheelahan. If you're not familiar with him, he started 21 games in San Diego. Kippy Brown told us yesterday at practice when he's on, he is very, very good. A streaky passer who can really throw. Got better than average mobility. Let's go, fellas. Got to pump him up in there, Craig. You heard the call. It's a 585 pass, which is that same out pattern, double right, out pattern by XZ. Right, right, 585 back across. On one, right? Back to cross, and you got 585, 2X, XZ no, on no, a long no, out, no, and you got a no, slot no. man running Set. the deep seam. Green 80! Green 800! First play from scrimmage for Craig. Wheel of hand. Wheels, fires, complete. But there's a marker down. Marker down in the backfield. Prentice making the catch. You know, you go back, we talked about it earlier. Coach Kippy Brown told us yesterday. Who got who it's going to be against the defense. Could be it. Number 90. Got caught. Michael Mason. And so the Maniacs. Catching a break. Roughing the passer as well. Las Vegas defense. Some say it's the best in the league, Boz. Yes, they have. Their front seven tonight has done a great job. They got five tackles for a loss, three quarterback slots, a fumble return first for a five. touchdown. The legal hands to the they face themselves the change the tempo of this football game. Automatic first down. All right, automatic first down for the Maniacs. The yeah. Maniacs really One, have to hurry. Right they need three scores uh, base, base right. to have a chance at winning. That's assuming they can hold the outlaws to no points. Hey, Plenty of time, Boz. It's not, it's not the, the man, Maniacs' defense is the problem. It's the Maniacs' offense that's causing the problems because they keep shooting themselves in the mouth. Three turnovers for the Maniacs. That was a huge penalty. It takes them down immediately inside the red zone to the 18-yard line. You saw Marcus Crandall. Right, Tim. Base right, Slater, Punko, on one, ready? Crandall the starter on the bench. <laughs> Craig Wheelahan with a first down. Right, Green 80. Harper in motion. Looking for Harper, throws incomplete. Wheelahan under pressure from number 68. Your guy, Boz Angel Rubio. <laughs> That's the problem. Again, they don't have the kind of time that Craig needs to get back there and set up. He'd like to get back there and get in his nice rhythm. He has to get rid of the ball before he wants to. Middle breakdowns on the offensive line have killed Memphis's offensive right. progress tonight. Kelvin Kinney, on El Rubio, Carl Simpson, Antonio Edwards, the front four for the Outlaws. Second down. Green and eight. Marker down, that's going to be too much time. Play clock expiring. Play no, clock, no, 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 no. Well, play now. clock. It really moves Delayed in the XFL. It moves, you know, in the NFL, four. you get 40 five seconds in the XFL. Still, they cut it down, down by five seconds into 35 seconds. That's why you get so many, so many delay of game calls here in the XFL. Over G, over G. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Son, green 80. Green 80. Second down. <laughs> Intercepted. The Outlaws rolling. Chris Bain. Bain headed for the house and he's dragged down at the seven yard line. Tackled by Raphael Cooper. Fourth 
turnover, a 78-yard interception off Wheelahan. Pitiful, absolutely pitiful. And I'm not so sure that's Craig's fault. That could have been a checkoff pattern. Bye-bye. What's up, Ma? Happy birthday, KDK. Bye-bye. See ya. Hey. He's yelling at the maniacs in the stands, Boz. He's taunting. He is doing some taunting. So a tough night for Crandall. Wheelahan comes in, throws a pick. And the Las Vegas defense pumped up. Are they the best in the league? Right now, they're showing that they are the best in the league. They gave, they put a shutout last week. Yeah. They bent, but not broken tonight. Left, left. It's a pretty good offense over there by Memphis, but they, they haven't done themselves any favors. Run, 80, hot. Fake the Takuma. And they throw it away. Your defense incredible tonight. Your offense has been struggling, but you guys have pretty much won this game. Well, I wouldn't say it's won yet. Still 13-26. You know what I'm saying? We, we need a lot of improvement, but we came out there pretty well. Real quickly, did you read his eyes? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Bad read. And you hear Wheeler had bad read. How do you have, have, you have a bad read with eyeballs that stick out that big? 18! Hot! Second and eight. Cauley guns it into the end zone, and it's going to be pass interference. Number 36, Anthony Marshall, unhappy with the call. Uh, you know, Anthony's a big, rangy guy that, if you venture into his zone, has been known to tear you a new one, so to speak. He just actually tore him a new one before it was time. So pass interference. That's a spot foul. Place the ball at the one-yard line. So Vegas is humming here. Pass interference, defense number 46. The foul occurred in the end zone. The ball's placed on the one-yard line. First down. Number 66, White is an eligible receiver. Number 66, White is an eligible receiver. So Vegas in business. First and goal at the one. This is like a long craps hand. <laughs> you know, they're hot. They are getting every break. Quarterback sneak, Cauley, no. Not going there. I don't think. He, no, no. Look at him. Throw the flag! Throw the flag! Hey, I'm going to get you. 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 Why you throw the flag? Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Slant, 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 slant Joe. Because you had your hand on me. Yeah, the Maniacs defense. So effective early, boss, and they've just been worn down by all the turnovers. Put in bad positions all night long. Timeout, Las Vegas. It's so Vegas first. takes a timeout in the midst of a roll. 12 12 to go in the game here at Memphis. What's up? And Las Vegas. Say hello to my little. What's up, What's up, Day Day? I'd like to say something to my mom. Men, they're always trying to impress me. Hey, Janet! They think big muscles are all I care about. Hey, Janet! The world's strongest fat burner. It's a safe, smart way to burn fat and get an extra boost of energy. Stacker 2, the world's strongest fat burner. The XFL on UPN is brought to you by Milk with nine essential nutrients. Got milk? By the United States Army, an army of one. And by Twix, it's all in the mix. Along with Brian Bosworth, Chris Raggy, Michael Barkan, Darren Torres, I'm Chris Marlowe. He's smoking. A steamy night. Well, I shouldn't say steamy night, that would be a lie. Vince McMahon wants honesty. It's a miserable night here in the Liberty Bowl in terms of weather, but it's been all sweet for Las Vegas. Trying to punch it in now. First and goal. Cauley throws incomplete. Man, that was a 
Tough rushing by Cornell Menifee. And that throw was his weakest tap water. Oh, man, that was ugly. If you just joined us, this game, the story of the game has been turn turnovers. turnovers. No question about it. Yep. Four turnovers for Memphis and zero for Las Vegas. Memphis defense trying to dig in, Boz. It's third and goal now at the one. This would be a lift for the Maniacs. Hand it to Chakuma, and I don't think he's going to get there. Let's go, let's go, man. Let's now go. you got a decision. Chakuma stopped by the big man up front. Shante Carver, Richard Hogans, TJ Fryer also there. And so here comes the field goal unit. Floyd. You know, Jim Kreiner. Where's Floyd? He's out, there. He's, out there. he's out there. He's out there. He's not a wild and crazy guy, but he is number a seven, no nonsense number coach. Number 78 is an eligible receiver. Number 78 is an eligible receiver. Well, they got that 78, uh, Adronio Belly, definitely making sure that he's been told by the referees that he's going to be an eligible receiver. And it's Paul McCallum. The 19 yard chip shot, and McCallum hits it. You know, the guys on the Vegas squad call Paul McCallum game day. They call him game day because he only practices up till Wednesday, and then they tell him take the rest of the time off, me? come back on game day. Yes. Okay, good. Got a tough job. That makes the score 25 to 3, Las Vegas. So Las Vegas running it up here. Yeah. It's a Cooper. He's Wheels, you're 22 right. points down. Can you still rally these? Yeah, troops? we're going Dolph, yeah, we're going two minutes now. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Chris Bain said on the interception, he read your eyes. Is that a concern? <laughs> no. No, it's not. You might have to start squinting a little bit. <laughs> All right. Wheelahan is going to get another opportunity, apparently. There is Chris Bain out of Fresno State, 25 year old. He read it well. We're glad you're with us on UPN Primetime Football. Next week, Boz, we're heading to the Big Apple in New York. Orlando, the number one team in XML football. And Ryan Clement. Having who, a good time. Even though he's, he's hurt, probably gone for a few weeks. Yeah, knocked out early with a separated shoulder. He's going to get that $2,500 bonus the way things are working out for the Outlaws right now. So McCallum kicks off. Maniacs fans a little bit uh, suicidal now. Maybe you can say that about Maniacs. Bo Morgan with the return. All this month, it's extreme February on UPN. Let's take a look at Gary and Mike, two young guys on an extremely wild road trip across America, which this week takes them to New York City. Oh man, can it get any better than this? I can't handle this relationship. I want out. Go then. I'll be fine. Hold me. Just got better. I know y'all hate our game. Gary and Mike Friday at 8, 7 Central, right here on UPN. Was he in the XFL locker room, the cheerleaders locker room there? Little screen pass to Prentice. And he has taken down Kevin Prentice, 24 years old, out of Mississippi State. Clock management right now is going to be the biggest deal for the Maniacs right now. they got to move the ball down quickly. They got to get out of bounds when they can. They got to get big plays, big chunks of yardage fast. The apprentice may be cramping up a little. Maniac fans are, uh, would you say they're enthusiastic or toasted? Which one? Stay on. <laughs> Probably toasted, man. Take them home. Second and five. And the throw is caught Mark Thomas. So Wheelahan on the money, Joe Tuipalo making the tackle. Now, this is what I don't understand. Vegas is starting to play hey, soft defense. They control the ball game all game long. Right. And yet here they're going to let, let hey, Memphis hey, move the ball down the field. Hey, hey, hey. 25 to 3. Las Vegas leading Memphis. Wheelahan pass was tipped. Intended for Jordan. Hey, Chris Bain almost had himself hey, Mark, another little gift. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I, I guess he's still reading the eyes of the quarterback. That's Hurley Tarver out of Central Oklahoma. Does everybody in Oklahoma know each other? You know, most of the guys? Hey, the roots run deep in Oklahoma. Okay. We all love each other. Hurley, what kind of a name is that? You, you. Hurley. I got no response to that. Hurley Burley. Wheel a hand out of the gun. Trying to set up the middle screen incomplete. He was looking for number 20, Raphael Cooper. Kid from Louisville. 
Pass too hot. So the Maniacs offense, they need to go back to the asylum boss and work on the offense next week. Don't you agree? Yeah, they need to they need to tie up a few loose ends, get a little bit more focus, a little less on the money, a little bit more on the game. Third down. Wheelan all day to throw. Incomplete. He was looking for Harper. Chris Bain had great coverage on Alvin Harper that time. He was covering him like a blanket. So Harper, perhaps the most renowned player in this game. Uh, a frustrating night. There's your story right there. Four, four turnovers, 19 points for Vegas. And for Harper, one catch, eight yards. He's, like he said, he's got some old legs. All to kick it. Fielded by Jason Kaiser. And Kaiser loses a couple of guys before he is drilled. And who drilled him? Paul Lacoste. We're coming the back. The maniac, the head leader of the asylum. Nice hit. Time out. Good hit. Over yet with Las Vegas with coach Jim Kreiner. He is one of the hardest workers in the XFL. He gets into the right. office at 6 a.m. He's out yeah. at 1 a.m. He works constantly. That's why he is respected, and that's why he is a winner. He has his team off to a 1-0 start, and they are looking good tonight. A first down for Las Vegas. Ben Snell is the running back. And we've got a marker down. I think. Six to six. Six. Prior to the snap, false start, offense number 66. Five yard penalty, it's still. All right, we're talking down. about Jim Kreiner's schedule. Now compare that to Brian Bosworth's schedule at Oklahoma. <laughs> Partying <laughs> until 4 a.m. Up at 1 p.m. after sleeping it off, ready for a 3 p.m. game with a little assistance. <laughs> oh, man, you guys just don't know the whole story. I can only explain so much of it. We got a whole season, boss. Glad you're here. Las Vegas has been the dominant team. Cheer! 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 You know, so that schedule doesn't no, put in, you know, I studied outside so huddle, let's late go, at night. Let's go, huddle, you know, huddle, I, 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 how do you think I was an academic All-American was able to graduate in three and a half yeah, years? You know, yeah. Hooters has a great study program out in the back. They got, they got great, <laughs> great people to help you study. Those tutors that they have at Hooters are awesome. Set, right here, set. Red 19, red 19, hot, hot. <laughs> Oh, big oh, hit wow. delivered yeah. offensively by Ben Snell. There's Boz. There's Boz a little bit earlier. You know, Boz, you're a good example of why some animals eat their young. You are a creature. You are just... You know what? I just feel the beat, baby. When I'm in the groove, everything's happening nice. I'm just loving life. Happiest part of my life right now. This, this XFL to me is filling a big problem that's been a void since I can't play. I get to live vicariously through these guys. Third and three. This game's getting ugly now. Prior to the snap, false start, offense number 77. Five-yard penalty, it's still third down. You know, those big offensive linemen now are starting to count the greenbacks are going to get in the locker room after this game is over with. They need to just stay focused, finish the game out as strong as they did when they started. It's third and eight. Hurricane! Like 46. Set! We're 19! Red 19! Hot! Colley. He gets buried, but he gets the pass away. Was it complete? I think so. Okay, Colley has been a different player. He's got a little confidence now. Corey Sori comes in and introduces himself. Can you feel the pain in the XFL? He's going to tell him about it. Yes, sir. Like a 
and true now. linebacker. Now. Actually, that's a defensive Just back. Just over seven minutes to play. Outlaws with a huge lead. Boz, I don't know how we're going to survive for seven minutes, but I do see the cheerleaders oh my God, I know how you're gonna making their way into the minutes. booth. I think that's good news, uh, Boz. Good news. They must have seen you dancing. They must have been seeing you dancing on the podium in that beautiful black hat you have. Like they talked about before the game started, they're all professional dancers, and they want a few moves. There, Twelve minutes. there you go. What a man does this. They got ten can move differently than any other man down. I know can do it. I'm the digit man. So Las Vegas, uh, just seven minutes away from improving to 2-0, and and it's been a happy night for this game. What? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. You know, Buzz, they got here late, they had some distractions, they got some fines, but heck, they played a whale of a game. Maybe they should do that every week. You know, their defense has played a whale of a game, and it's Memphis's offense turned the ball over has caused this game. That's why they're going to have $2,500 in their pocket. Memphis is going to have all week to think about First and five. Snell breaks a tackle. Ben Snell. He's a nasty runner like that. He likes to punish you. Oh, what a hit. You don't see running backs. That's reminiscent of Walter Payton's sweetness, dishing some nastiness. Tell you what, he came out and he's like a firecracker out there. At least he's playing this game with some passion in the fourth quarter. The game's already in the bag. He comes up in the hole. Tell you what, the, he's driving him leg. He's looking for somebody to run over. He said, come get some, get some of that. Take this, go over, and I'm at the side. Here we go, baby. Let's keep moving it down the field. Ben Snell, go, clock, he's 24 clock, years clock, old, clock. played in Ohio Northern. Should have had him at Ohio State. Forget about that. Here he comes again. Lowers his shoulder and bangs for about four or five. Right now, the Memphis's defense, they're just catching. Just catching people. Just grabbing people. Ain't nobody attacking like they were in the first round of the game. Okay, Las Vegas. We'll be back. We'll be back. Sounds like Arnold Schwartz. What do you want they're getting his butt whipped. Bear? Is it Bear? Now Chakuma comes in, replacing Snell. Chakuma up the middle. You know, this Las Vegas team, three outstanding Yo, running backs. Hate me, Chakuma, and Snell. Clock's running, huddle up. They're all big. Huddle up. They all like pain, and they all like dishing it out. There's he ate me. He's the starting running back. Then Chakuma came in. First time, first time and Snell. They all fit that same mold, man. 94. Vegas now has 100 yards rushing this time. Collie in trouble. Hey, what? If you're Jim Kreiner, do you want to play it safe now and not throw some passes? the clock you're out there putting your head down running over people and you'll stiff arm yeah i gotta do what i gotta do man for the team baby you know what i mean can't know how three three oh is that 2500 already spent no i didn't already spend yet no gotta get it back i gotta get it yet still i tell you they're staying at a casino hotel uh where, where, where's that mississippi place again boss say the name again what's what, the name tunica of tunica tunica mississippi <laughs> One more look and a great run. That's awesome. See, that right there, you said I don't, he's from some little, some little arm. Whoa, look at that thing. That's a Marlowe bicep, Paz. You see that thing? I love our guys. You know why? Because they're like from everywhere. So you football freaks out there who have a dream, don't ever let that thing go, man. If you love football, and I mean real football, the way you're getting it out here on the XFL, smash mouth, in your face, stretch your stuff, walk your walk, talk your talk, live your dream, baby, because you'll always have a home right here in the XFL. So you just keep on playing. Number one, outlaws. Boz, there's an injured player at midfield. An injured player at midfield. It is number 99, Mike Sutton. So Sutton shaking up. Played a well of a game, man. He has laid himself out tonight. I hope he's okay. Come on, baby. Come on. You know what? 
He's letting it all out there, baby. And good news, he's up. So Big Mike Sutton is up. You know, a football player, they don't look at the clock, they don't look at the scoreboard, and that's what I like about the XFL. They don't care what the score is. They're out there playing with passion. They're out there to play, to win the game. And if they don't win the game, they're out there to make a statement. We've dipped under five minutes. It's been all Las Vegas. Now the outlaws will kick it. And we've got a marker down. Both start 39 white. 39 white. What number? 39 white. What number? False start, 39 white. Prior to the snap, false start, offense number 39. That's a five-yard penalty. He can't jump close. Defense jumped in. Remember, he's just only practice. Defense jumped across, didn't you go? I got you. I didn't see the move. I didn't see what I'm saying. All right. We have a correction on the foul. We got a neutral zone infraction on the defense, which created the false start. That's five-yard penalty. It's still fourth down. He corrected himself. All right. Good for him. So Paul McCallum, who has played well tonight, AKA game day. McCallum uh, punting and kicking. He's got two field goals tonight, two made, and he's hit five punts. How difficult do you think that is, Buzz, to place kick and punt? Tough. If you're a place kicker, it couldn't be that hard to learn how to punt. Hey, we've got a nut on the field. Hey, what a nut. Tackle him. Tackle him, man. Come Take him down, on. man. Tackle him. We need Mike Curtis to put him in his place. Paul Acosta will put Play him in him his out. place. Paul Acosta will take him out. Take him out of here. Oh, yeah. It was for nothing. I think they just let him go. Or are they going to take him down to the little hokey I jail? think they're going to take him underneath. Dick Buskis is going to whip him and beat him down in the tunnel. All right, McCallum shoveling it. It's a live ball. I got a chance live for ball. it. Got a chance for it. And Brett Besh had a chance. And it'll be Maniac's ball. That's why, that's why here in the XFL we love to give it. It's a little, 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 little harder because we care to give only the very best. You, you, you. All right, it's party time up here in the booth. All righty. You guys want some lessons? Boss, show him how to do it. Yeah, it. Boss, Boss, get in there. Oh, man, that's TV, man. Boss, get in there. I saw her, man. Boss. She's going to kick my ass. No, nah, TV. You guys are all right. Great job tonight. Now, quick. One more time. Boss, get in there. Hey, I know. Boss, get in I know, there. I know a Take little hot set up. You want to go off and do a little dance? Go, Boss. Do it, Boss. Huh? Do it quick, do Boss. Dance. Yeah. I'm not making any love because my woman's at home tonight, and I love her. That's you. Boss, go ahead. I'll handle the football game. You stay there. Slap my butt, Chris. Slap my butt. No, no, no I don't want to do that. Uh, let one of the girls do that. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Thanks, guys. Maybe your bros over at Oklahoma did the butt slapping, but we don't do that out in California. Oh, oh well, they don't. You know what I mean? Right. You're right. All right. Uh, happy night for the Las Vegas Outlaws. They're going to get a $2,500 baby? bonus per oh, man, $100,000. And that Rob. comes in handy. The players aren't being paid all that much. Fifty thousand for the Mike's forty-four. The quarterbacks. Green eighty. Forty-five thousand for the That's position players. Right here. Thirty-five That's for the kickers. Green. News coming up next. Stay with us on UPN. <laughs> we whoa, whoa, whoa. throws incomplete. Wow. Charles Jordan had no idea where that Hold baby up. was coming from. He still Hold doesn't up. know it landed. Oh. That ball was thrown about ten yards oh, behind God. him. Yeah. The Las Vegas this defense is, has. Dominated. And Las Vegas is going to go to 2 0. So I, right, I may have jumped the gun. Right. Orlando base and base Las base Vegas, base base currently the two best right. teams in the XFL. Well, nah, not so quick there, Chris Marlowe, because I guarantee you these two guys hey, score off again. It's going to be a war. I'm just talking in terms of record right now. 2 0 is good. Yes. <laughs> Wheeling <Whoa. Ann> throws <laughs> and the pass is caught. Raphael Cooper. 
Born in Detroit, Michigan. If you're one of the players on Las Vegas' squad, if you get back to the casino tonight, are, are you going to play? Are you going to play slots? Are you going to play craps? Are you going to do, do it? If you like just giving the money away, yeah. I okay. think you go out to a fish dinner, man. You're living on a Mississippi, man. Get some crawfish. Uh -huh. A big dinner awaits. The Las Vegas Outlaw. Taking it away is Jeff Hall. Mike Furry bringing it back. And Furry is knocked down at the 44. And now the hit of the game is brought to you by Lugs. The boots and shoes with an attitude. Because you never know what you might run into. The Lugs hit of the game, featuring the Lugs frenzy. Be careful out there. Rest in peace there, Mr. Quarterback. You saw it. Go. Ben Snell back in. We have a new quarterback, Jim Ballard. He might be key down the line, Boz, because with the roughness in the XFL, he may get an opportunity. You know what? The big thing here for him tonight, that one play, he just got $7,500. We have come to the two-minute warning. They had four over there. Las Vegas, 25, Memphis. The U.S. Army presents victories in life. Our star tonight is Kurt Govan. What a night he had, Brian Bosworth. This was the play of the game. Rajan Salam struggling to the goal. Picked up by Govan, and there he goes, 98 yards by. He's hoping to pump from here about the, about the 50 yard line. He just hopes he has enough gas to get him all the way home. Kurt Govea trotting into the end zone, a 98 yard fumble recovery and run. Kurt Govea, a great example of the U.S. Army's victories in life. So the Las Vegas Outlaws, two minutes away from a $100,000 bonus. Crowd filing out here in the Liberty Bowl. You have to give the crowd a lot of credit. They came out on a windy, rainy, miserable night. They supported their team, but offensively, things just didn't go right you know, for I, the Maniacs. I think the crowd sees the kind of talent that they've got here in Memphis. They'll be back. They're going to support this support this Memphis wow. Maniacs football team. 12-12. Wow. One Mani game, baby. A one, huh? Clock is running. Yep. 25-3, Vegas. <laughs> And around. Mike Furry. And Furry is tackled. Hey, Matt, what do you guys do to celebrate tonight? A bunch of you didn't even make curfew last night. How are you guys going to take this one off the hook tonight? Oh, we made curfew. Y'all know what you're hearing. But uh, I'm glad a lot of people are um, getting to beat the traffic. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that there. So, uh, underdig that. Yeah, you made curfew. Ten guys didn't. Yeah, B Mac. Uh, he's standing up Bro. for his homies. Damn, B Mac's a good Come guy. On, you know, fellas, man. he plays like an outlaw, but he's got a heart of gold inside right, that. Rolls, rolls, rolls. Here we go. So the clock continues to run mercifully for a very subdued maniac team. Live oh. football, Woo. and the ball out of bounds. And we've got another fight, McCallum. McCallum and Raphael Cooper were getting into it. You don't see punter fights very much. Hey, you know what? When you're a punter on a winning team, all of a sudden your testosterone starts to boil. Hey, I'll tell you what, you know it's a good night when your punter is kicking Heidi. Rubbing the kicker, defense number 20. Personal foul. 
on the kick in number 17 for retaliation. Ophelia's offset. The ball belongs to Memphis at the spot. He's got to remember. That's not roughing the kicker. Nothing happened earlier. The player's got to stay within his own mindset there. He's got to remember. He doesn't lift weights, man. He just punched the ball. Don't go off and get something stupid hey, just, and then get a forearm in the grill work. Well, you have to be careful. You don't want to lose your kicker to a separated shoulder. McCallum, 30 years old, from Vancouver, Canada. After the play was over, 15-yard penalty on sportsmanlike conduct on the Las Vegas coach. First down. He's saying a Las Vegas coach? This Connor gave him a couple. Get it back, guys. Get it back. Thoughts to take home with him. Gave this two cents worth, and he got changed. Mike 44. Now Jim Kreiner. Coaching a year ago move to, move in the NFL left a little bit. There you go. Now he looks like a genius in the XFL. His team well prepared. I guarantee it. He's loving coaching American football here in the U.S. of A. Raphael Cooper. And Cooper. So the Maniacs have to regroup. They got 20 seconds. Las Vegas will hey, celebrate. Hey, hey. Hey, Scott, don't press. They got 20 seconds. Don't press, same thing. Dolphin right, 50. Hey. 50. There will be no bonuses tonight for the Memphis Maniacs. Yeah, I do. 50. 50. Sit on. Once more, it's Raphael Cooper. Sorry about that, G. Good shit. Sorry about that, G. And that should do it. Now they apologize to each other. A hard-fought game between Las Vegas and Memphis. For Brian Bosworth, Chris Raggy, Michael Barkan, Darren Torres, I'm Chris Marlowe. Week two of the XFL Smash Mouth football has come to a close. Our final score, Outlaws 25, the Maniacs 3. Next Saturday, the XFL Roadshow continues, starting on NBC, the Los Angeles Extreme take on the Las Vegas Outlaws and then Sunday right here on UPN Yolanda Rage traveled to New York to play the Hitman. The XFL is here to stay. Good night from Memphis. You're watching the XFL on UPN.